the first things hello, that my friends hello, and I hello. said when we were in the UK. Hello. 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 Hey, everybody. <clears throat> Hi, Dr. Hi, Dr. Nick. Nick. Uh, <laughs> classy. No. What is that? Um, <laughs> good the evening. The Simpsons. Welcome. Hey, everybody. Echo? Yeah. Is there an echo? I... Never watched it. Um... It's uh, it's it's Sunday, D DS. I'm fucking out of it, man. It's been 30 plus degrees here for the last two weeks, and I'm fucking dying. I've got a fan going on in the background, and I hope that the you know stream doesn't pick it up. But if so, a video sorry. broadcast, baby. Um, it's your bed is a messy. Fucking you know? unbearable. True, bro. Can you make your bed? Dude, I'm distracting <laughs> me. God, can you believe the the that, that guy still lives in my head rent free like that ass? Yeah. <laughs> and it's been like four years. You literally. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, he's doing well. Whoever, whoever where, 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 where are you? Maybe. Oh, pure. Uh, Trey fucking just pops up in chat. That was three or four years ago at this point, right? Like it's been a minute. Like four Trey, years ago, I think. That, I think we were still. On, were we were still on Laura's channel. We were like, like, Laura's. We were campaign yeah. one at like. We, I think we were still on my channel, so, and it was yeah. definitely campaign one. And uh, my favorite part was that the reaction of Doug was just to go to his bed and mess it up more, and then just came so. back and sat I down and kept so, playing. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like something I would do. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of built in my brain. If someone tells me to do something, I do the opposite. I'm I'm just an asshole. Like, <laughs> don't um, give me a hundred pounds. Don't give me a million euros now. The Jack. problem is, Koi, but you have to reverse psychology into something he can physically do. That's true. Yeah. Don't kiss me on the lips. <laughs> That's at all. What I was thinking. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, you rejected uh, my advances once, Koiba, you fucking coward. True. You think August is going to be the fucking same? I'm or just being hard. Uh, Dutch, I'm just being hard to get, bro. You know? oh, right, right. So in August, we're going to fucking make out. It's going to be great. Nice. No. Oh, there's going to be hands <laughs> and... If Koiba doesn't some make out with you, Over the clothes outside. action. All right, fair. Whoa. Hand stuff I'm just going to not make out with Koiba just to have him sleep outside then. Great. Right. <laughs> it's like a dog. Sorry, Koiba, you're walking home as well. Oof. What the fuck? I can't walk! I mean, walking is just as far as my car, bro. Think this about man it. walks to work, like, every day. Yells he can't walk. And back from the bar. And oh, you, know, you know, I spent too much time with you guys when Koiba said, I can't walk. My first my first thought in head was, what are you, Bell? Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. Oh, come on, Laura, come on. You got Laura on the fucking bullshit. Yeah, you're train. supposed to be the, yeah, the, Laura, the chill I'm one. With you. Too much you're time like, with all y'all. Oh, you're don't blame us. Like what? Duke's got Laura, that fucking Zoom meeting camera angle going on, bro. Nice. Looks professional as fuck. <laughs> Laura really what? Feels, uh, <laughs> I said you have that Zoom meeting follow, camera I angle. Think I, I think I said right as you camera. deafened, but I was like, it feels weird being straight on. But <laughs> the I, there's no way I'm shutting my curtain because I need straight airflow. On? So it's yeah. it's the lighting for over the side is way bright. Oh, because you'd be like backlit if you're normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the camera would face towards the window, otherwise it'd be all fucked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks fine. Um, but yeah, we're back. Right back Hello, you, Briar is here. Hi, Briar. You, you still no regrets joining us? Because man, I would. Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> Nothing but regrets. I'm sure they're stacking up. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Exactly. It's spelled with an A. Very good. Very good. Very good. Um, no regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Yeah. I'm gonna get that tattooed on me. No regrets. <laughs> oh gosh, we have no regrets. Right I guarantee it's already been done a million times. Oh, 100 oh, yeah. No yogurts. She just jumps up so abruptly, like there's no warning. She's just, I'm here now. <laughs> Chat pets here, dude. Fucking miss my dogs. I'm gonna be, I think, what? halfway through July. I'm gonna be traveling to my parents for like a month and be cuddled by a million dogs, and we'll do DS from there. All the puppers. Right. Where was basically dogs. So. Wait, I'm, uh, like almost done with, you know, I'm, I'm almost done with my fucking college shit for the for the semester, so I'm almost almost summer break. Two more weeks. When you say for he's like a his, month, he's, he's on his last trimester, guys. Yeah. <laughs> when you when you say for like it's a ready month, to bust. Like, middle of July to middle of August is when we okay, come. Gonna, yeah, I'll probably fucking fuck off there in like a couple days before you guys arrive, some shit like that. It's kind of kind of the plan, yeah. It's kind of kind of what I'm thinking. We could just we could just drive up and introduce ourselves to Dutch's parents. Do it. I don't think. I mean, that's like a like an hour and a half detour for y'all. But uh, please don't. My because my my the thing is. Peter and Baudivine. Duke is like an hour and a half detour for me. Pascal so. and Ronald. 
will uh, probably. Whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> my guy Ronald. Holy shit, <laughs> Ronnie. Pick up my dad, bro. Um, yeah, no. Making I mean, the, the thing is, DM. the worst thing is like they'll probably like you guys, and I don't want that to happen because then be, <laughs> you'll you'll team up with them again. We're me. your friends. Why would you not want that to happen? We're the one we not your know that your they parents love. Ma they make me miserable. No. You know the real they'll, they'll whip out the fucking. Oh my god, you know what you fucking say? Things that he did. Oh, oh dude, god. if they pull out the Dutch baby pics, that would be <laughs> fucking amazing. I want to see. Yo, I want to see baby pics. That Dutch baby. I will be there. Sad. My penis hasn't grown since I was a baby. Does that count? <laughs> Are we gonna see your penis? Is that? <laughs> if you play your cards right. <laughs> you <gonna> <laughs> <see> <laughs> <it>? <laughs> Can we get evil? That's just Dutch. Oh, just like I'm keeping an ace head. in my sleeve. Can we get the Quiba and Dutch's parents crossover, please? Oh, fuck off. Um, it's called I would, yeah, No, I want to see Quiba's parents meet Dutch's parents, actually. That's what I'm though. saying, dude. The best yeah. crossover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just throw Bell's yeah. parents in there. Just, don't, around, bro. just fuck don't let them put their keys in a bowl. My parents are great. No one would understand <laughs> Bell's parents. Just <laughs> It's been a while, guys, but uh, all right. <clears throat> Last session was very chaotic, and uh, it's it's been a couple weeks, and it's hot and for the majority of us. It's been misery, but um, oh. welcome to DS. Hi, uh, any announcements, Laura? Help. <laughs> uh, well, we have our next call of the Nether Deep session uh, next Saturday, and uh, Dutch's character has made it to the semifinals of a big tournament with a big cash prize. So if mine too, and so is Briar's character. <laughs> so you see who which of them. We'll win. There's three of the four characters and left are players and one's an NPC. So wouldn't it be a real shame if the NPC? I'm gonna beat up big ogre lady and what feel if... no regrets. <laughs> oh, so what wait, if it ends up being Neri versus Fury? Oh no. Well, that's if Neri both of you would win, die. If both of you win your fights. That's what it'll be. That because uh, it would be. You at least Bounty's character would have a chance with his like rogueness and stuff. Neri would just oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> I mean, if Neri really wants to, Neri can forfeit and go play nurse to her hot girlfriend who showed up in the tournament. So, you know, true, is... Bessie. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so so you should go watch that session. It's gonna be great. If you want to watch the first round of the tournament, the vod's up on my YouTube. Uh, so go check that out. Um, and I think that's that's it, really. I I'm playing in a Pride Month D and D thing, but that's not till after next DS, so I can give more details on it next week. Yeah. Uh, anyone else got well, any? We got the Blood Hunt tournament too. Yeah, that's, that's all. That's even up. a way. Uh, yeah, but, I mean... Yes, good. Because we there's plenty of room left for signups on July 8th, which I believe is a Saturday. Uh, we'll be playing Blood Hunt in my second charity tournament I'm hosting. Most of the players in my first tournament are coming back, and we have some new players. God, but we still got lots of room. Back? She has not answered yet. Yes! I don't know if she will. There's so a chance. She might not. There's <laughs> there's there's decided, dude. The God team's already gonna win. It's already over. Like, yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Dutch Duke and I are on a time. team. Duke great. and Soko are on a team. Uh, and it's going to be a fun time. The charity it's for is... Um, the, the charity campaign is called Main Mission, which is like the online fundraising arm of uh, a charity called Covenant House, which is a halfway oh. house for homeless youth in Toronto. I'm, I'm Canadian. Uh, and they help sure. um, homeless teenagers and young adults, help them give them a place to stay, but also give them tools to help actually like make them like find a job find more permanent housing and like help them improve their situation and of course it works kind of great even though it's, it's just after pride month but it does work very well with pride month because a lot of uh lgbtq plus youth are at greater risk of abuse and harassment etc while being homeless just for <laughs> being queer so yeah if you want to play in the tournament and there's prizes this tournament it's it's gotten bigger and better Oh, uh, the prizes. Awesome. Last time there was just a gift card to Cosmic Candles, which we we love Cosmic Candles. It's great. But this time, gift cards to Cosmic Candles and um, Main Mission is donating some swag, like physical swag, as well as game keys to the winners as well. Oh, that's so, awesome. God, yeah. I can't wait for Sweet to play. finally play Dude, and just fucking so much shit, end up bro. dead last after that whole build. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. So yeah, um, yeah DM right. me if you want to sign up for the tournament. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna we be fun. When is that again? Swag. What's the date on that again exactly? July eighth, which I believe is a Saturday. Pretty the time I'm gonna start sending out, um, getting everyone's availability on that day. Cause again, I want to make it as early in the day as possible for the EU people that are playing. I just need to get everyone's availability for the day, and then we'll also get the specific start time down. Two a.m. Baby, let's go. 
No, thank you. You think I'm going to be available at 7 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be ready to go to bed. Um, let's have a thing. Do I have any announcements? I don't think so. I've been struggling with the heat and it's killing me. Um, Briar probably has some. Briar's playing all sorts of TTRPG things. Uh, well, actually, most of those are over already, but okay. our, uh, our Wild Beyond the Witchlight campaign comes back on Wednesday around 6 Eastern, um, over on my channel, so that's exciting. Um, we I'm are still waiting finally for entering, we should finally be entering Bavlorna's cottage, so that should be interesting to see how that goes down. Um, so that's, and that's basically the only thing I'm going to be doing on Twitch anymore. Um... Uh -huh. Everything else is basically on YouTube, but oh. yeah. Cause... I'm still waiting for our party to, because they all seem very confused uh, when I mentioned, because my, my character talks to ghosts, and then I said, not all ghosts are dead, very <laughs> much channeling this campaign. And everyone in the party just had a wait, what moment? But then no one's asked me about it since, and I'm still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, wait. Um... But yeah, other than that, I'm still raising money for the It Gets Better project all month. Um, yeah, and I've started my weekly Skyrim streams that were unlocked during St. Jude Play Live, and it's already nice. been chaotic. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Quibble, any snacks, dude? Dude, <laughs> dude, oh, no. I'm eating popcorn, right? Okay. And like, you know, when you like eat a fucking half of it, if not more, before the fucking adverts have even begun, like, no popcorn left, bro. <laughs> Go up and snack it. Well, you also it. choked right. on a bunch of it when Dutch made that comment about the baby pics. So. Well, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, but like, so I'm probably gonna have to get more popcorn later. <laughs> but fine, mm. it's fine. I got a bunch of it, but I can pop it and I can't fuck. Surprised, given your heat wave, your snacks aren't like popsicles, ice cream, ice the cream cake. Of ice cream no. through the last week. No. Holy You're crap. missing the perfect time for the bit to be literally a whole ass ice cream cake. So, now is the so, fucking time, sir. So here's the thing, Laura. Here's the thing. They not they don't survive long enough in my freezer because it's been so hot. I just eat them. Like just also like. You should have got one just today. Then you would have setting an, a, a whole ass ice cream cake out. I'm playing yeah, a D&D &D session while trying to eat it. Like, it would be a puddle by the end. Just, yeah. I, I just get a little yeah, bit at a time, it, you know? and then bring it, and then get I don't think Quibba does it. Yeah, I just Quibba want Quibba to bring it. Next session that it's hot, I want Quibba to bring out quarters. a full box of, like, the Polar Pops. Okay, what you do is you get a small-ish ice cream cake with a whole cake, and you just put it in a giant, like, salad bowl or something. So even if it does oh. melt, you can just have fat kid soup when you're done, and just fat yeah, when it's really ice hot. cream. Yeah. Isn't that what the fucking do. isn't that what the like fucking bring... hags are trying to eat? Hold on. <laughs> no, I just I bring something hot to eat whilst it's hot. That's the bit, surely. No. I can't really imagine spicy. the kids are. Yeah, boy, Dar's not a sister in yet though. You <laughs> 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 got Dutch in the weed you left. <laughs> The silence, dude. Shout the silence the that fell. <laughs> the, huh? worst is, the, worst, the worst part is that she occasionally watches this. <laughs> oh, oh man. Funny. She Fuck. doesn't understand how Twitch works. Anyway, uh, anyone else? Wanna, Duke, you got any, anything you want to talk about? Any dreams, dude? Anything quirky? You don't want to know the dream that oh, I had this God. morning, man. Like, you don't. You don't. You don't. See, now we want no. to, though. <laughs> Um, it was logical in nature. I'll just, that's, it was rough and it was weird. Um, okay. yeah. Uh, but I'll, I might stream next week, like, some more, because I'm kind of killing it at this fucking baseball game that no one cares about, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Best player in his house, guys. Best, uh, best player in probably my postcode, maybe. Damn. Dude, he's number 15 out of 40. That's, that's like, crazy. total people that play the game, so. I'm not number fifteen. I'm in somewhere in the top fifteen, which could be, could be number one. Go. We don't know. You know? Uh, I'm not number one because I played someone yesterday that had higher rating than me. Beat him though, so. Cool. All right. Just saying. What's the what's the player base of this game? Forty people. I told you. I could not tell you. I could not tell you off the top of my head. Probably not very big in Europe. But... What's the game called? Super mega. Super baseball. mega baseball four. It is like the only other good baseball game besides MLB The Show, but MLB The Show isn't on PC. It's not? Huh. No. Alrighty. Um, so let's uh, get into the swing of things. Uh, last we left off, the party is still on the way to Valaki. 
because one of the artifacts that they uh, were told could help them in their coming... Um... There you go. 206 planet as we speak. There you go. Uh, in their coming uh, fight slash uh, rescue attempt uh, is the... I believe it's the Sunblade that you were told is uh, in the Blue Water Inn in Valaki, if I'm remembering that correctly. So you've been traveling uh, from Barovia to Valaki, and uh, last your last stop was uh, a windmill called the Old Bone Grinder, uh, ran by a coven of hags uh, that you took care of, fought after some uh, interesting planning, uh, and we'll leave that at that. Um, rescued a bunch of children that all claim to be from Valaki, or at least a town in that direction. They weren't really too sure what their town was called or anything. Uh, and you are now traveling, <clears throat> continuing your travel towards Valaki, which only lies like a, another hour or so uh, down the road. You can already see it in the distance as you kind of leave Old Bone Grinder behind and you're traveling. Um, and as you continue your travel with the kids in tow, uh, eventually, the old Svalish road meanders into a valley watched over by dark, brooding mountains to the north and the south. The woods recede, revealing a sullen mountain berg surrounded by a wooden palisade. Thick fog, thick fog presses up against the wall, uh, almost as if it's looking to find a way inside. It's very eerie, very weird. Um, definitely some, some magical shenanigans going on, much with all of the fog you've seen in this domain so far. Um... <clears throat> the dirt road ends at a set of sturdy, sturdy iron gates with a pair of shadowy figures standing behind them. Planted in the ground and flanking the road outside the gates are half a dozen pikes with wolves' heads impaled on them. Uh, you approach the town from the east. Um, in Discord, I'm sh screen sharing. You can see like a, a map of the town. You're coming in from the east uh, of town. Uh, there's two town guards that stand just inside the gate. The gates, given that it's it's not quite nighttime or nighttime, time is relative down here or over here, but it's not quite late enough for uh, for it to be. Oh, it's bedtime. The town is asleep, so the gates are still open. Uh, and as you approach, uh, the guards kind of like eye you all up and down and look at all the children and just kind of stop you and. What's all this then? We mm. saved them! <laughs> what? Oh, welcome. Points to the gaggle of children, presumably trailing behind us or in a clump with us. The guard kind of looks and. Yeah, I recognize a few of them. I... Could you elaborate? Uh, there were. Like, hags. Taken by hags. <laughs> yeah. Trading uh, pies in... for children. The... The bone grinder. Those. Yes. That's the one. No, the other ones. <laughs> oh my god. I think you're saying that not knowing that there's, that there's more covens around, and you're thinking you're very clever, but just, oh, a group of hags doesn't really mean much to us. The ones at the windmill, yes. Save them how? Just out of um, curiosity. Killed the hags. Mostly. Got a bunch of hags. Killed the hags. hags. Got them out of a cage. The guard kind of like leans towards the, the the other his partner and all right. Well, that's one th less thing to deal with. Uh, who's going to break the news to the townsfolk that we won't be getting any pies anytime soon? And the other guards kind of right. Well, you did us all a favor. Um, all right. Well, in that case, uh, we don't really tend to let strangers in. But given your explanation and the fact that you've rescued these children. Um, we'll let you in. Uh, what's your business in this town? Can I insight check the thing about the pies? Sure. I feel like they shouldn't be upset about not getting pies when getting pies means children are going missing. I mean, dude, that life is rough. <laughs> to, me, the, to me, the vibe was more, oh, we have to now break it to the meth addicts that there's no more meth coming. Yeah, like, it was like, was, who wants to was, tell the people yeah. that are addicted that their supplies out? Dude, that's not fun, whether you're supported like or not. There's a mafia that just, like, arms pies. 
Is that, I mean, do I need to roll? Is that what Aranya got from that? Because yeah, yeah, not yeah. what I the way, got from the way, that. No, the way you said it was like, oh, who's going to break it to the people that there's no more pies? And the other guard kind of just went like, Pfft, as in like, oh, not me. I mean, that is not my the job. value of the pies that we have have tripled. <laughs> so oh, are God. we, like, should we be expecting, like, crazed pie-addled people here? Like, I don't... Is that you asking... It just seems like a weird is that, is that, to make is that, rather than, like, oh, that, hey, these parents are going to be so glad that their children are back. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> like... You'll find out. Um, oh, God. <laughs> right, so, what's your what's your business in this town? Are you just traveling by, passing by, spending the night here, or is there something... Are we going to expect to see you wandering around for a few days? We'll probably rest and recuperate for a few days, and then keep traveling. All right. Um, all right. Good. Feel free to come in. Uh, we'll take these children off your hands and make sure that parents don't try and fucking sell them again. Um, the f okay. Well, <laughs> it's, it's been it's it's weird. Uh, I personally, you know, don't really partake, but some of yeah, there's a lot of intricacies when it comes to uh, some of the people in this town, and want to make sure that I don't hand the children back to people that are just going to try and get rid of them the next opportunity they get. So it's going to take a little Threading while. Threading kids for pies doesn't exactly sound intricate. But... Well, no, but I just want to make sure that these kids don't, you know, return home to parents not quite keen on keeping them around and something else might befall them. That's a very wise and kind decision. And it's n not a crime to sell your children for a pie. In lands like these? No. People are just trying to survive and make their life as the least miserable they can. Unfortunately. I just mutter under my breath, yeah, shitty parents are pretty universal. I have a question, Dutch. Mm -hmm. um, how fucking annoying have these children been on the trip <laughs> from the bone mill? They've been pretty quiet and just kind of follows you around, and they, they've not really, you know. Cool, fantastic. Fantastic news. Cool. So, the last one hasn't quite lost his sanity because of the children yet. <laughs> Could you imagine I use a sanity point because I'm looking after them fucking kids? I'm like, Make them out, Samantha! Just... All right, um, well, if you're looking for a room, you'll probably find one uh, at the uh, the Blue Water Inn, uh, just down the street. Uh, if, it's, if you're the religious type, uh, Father Petrovich at St. Andrew's Church, Called sermons every night. Uh, I don't know where you're from, but uh, you'll find that these streets are a little more secure than other places in this realm, so you should be alright. Um, I'd be lying if I said that Strahd has no influence here at all, but at least, you know, it seems that this is one of the few places that's still willing to put up a fight. Good for you. Well. Mm -hmm. In your professional opinion, is there anywhere we should probably best avoid? Um, let me open my document. Hold on. Uh... <coughs> you can't just say the whole of Barovia, right? You, you could. Go, go on. Top ten um... destinations. Places to avoid. Well, there is a festival here in three days, and that festival, it's called the Festival of the Blazing Sun. Um, it, so, some uh, weird types from around the realm might visit, so try your best and just steer clear of anyone that looks at you funny. Um, <clears throat> anything, anything, anywhere, anything else? Uh, not really supposed to say this, but try and stick clear of the Burgomaster. He's a bit of a... Of a dick. <laughs> right. Uh, other than that, try and stick clear of the woods and, and the roads around the village, especially at night, in, in case you're planning on going out. Uh, a lot of wolves, a lot of 
nasty things. But the um, woods, the Burgermaster, the festival. Don't go fishing on Lake Zerovich. Um, Why? That's all I'll say. Okay. Or well, let's just say there's not anyone, just fish that live in there. Anyone particularly uh, reputable? S scrupulous? What? Any, any sort of good folks we might be worth getting to know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, time, yeah. The uh, the innkeeper at the Blue Water Inn, uh, Urwin Martikov, is um, his tavern kind of is considered a bit of a sanctuary from the evils of this land, and he does his best to make sure that anyone who resides within those walls is kept safe from anything, trying to you know do harm to them. Um, innkeeper's a good. Is, is a is a good one of the few good ones other than that um there is lady fiona wakta she's um a more outspoken uh opponent of of strad and the burgomaster um she's gone record like she's gone on record dangerous position multiple times saying she'd rather serve the devil than a madman so uh she owns an old uh, house in town oh, which devil uh, well rarely leaves her estate though but just two 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 sons uh nikolai and carl and a uh, bit troublemakers but um the lady of the family is uh you know one of the one of the few good ones like i said that we have in this town other than that uh zivistani camp in the woods southwest of town avoid they uh, right. kind of Strahd's eyes around these parts. We try and keep them out of town, but obviously we can't always succeed on that, fortunately. But yeah, uh, as far as places that are safe, church, inn, what are the main roads? Don't stir any trouble. That's pretty much all the advice I have for you at this point. Uh, I would like to give him a gold coin. He uh, looks it in. Very much. Pockets that. All right. Anything else you guys need? I have uh, some kids to try and find a home for, or whatever. Good luck. You. You as well. Yeah, and as you uh, kind of like walk into uh, Valaki, <clears throat> you um, let's see map. You can see that there's this one main road that kind of stretches from the from the east gate to the west gate on the other side. A um, couple of, of, of uh, buildings that stand out to you. Some larger houses. Um. Yeah, what do you guys want to do? Where do you guys go? Where do you guys go? So, well, we, have, plan? we have to go to the inn regardless because that's the the hint we got that the the sword we're looking for is somehow tied to the inn i think yeah so I it's probably pretty exhausting right also yeah we're tired we we fought bridge darkness thing and we fought hags it's been a it's been a it's been a tiring <laughs> day that is that is true yeah absolutely <laughs> i forget did the party tell aranya about the sword i I do not think I so. Think we, I think we did a cast. Pretty sure we cast Exposition. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Um, There's a sword? I don't know if sun we blade. told her it's a sword. Oh, no. The sun sword. Sunblade, yeah. Um. Okay. I was just wondering. Because I know that they just want to go rest. So they want to go to the inn. But I didn't know if they would know about the sword to know, like, hey, two birds with one stone. Uh, well, you don't know about the location, but you've you've heard of this this blade before, and you're like, it's one of the like, these like, for people that that are from this area, this these like artifacts of legend that like, oh, there's no way those are real kind of thing. Mm. But obviously, with you, you having done your research and talked to people, gathered that these things, these artifacts are were real. There's no idea where to begin to try and find them. Right. So is would it be more of a, are you sure it's going to be there kind of deal? Or Yeah, that would probably kind of be your... Okay. 
your reaction. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, just for reference, which number on the map is the inn? Uh, well, that map is, uh, well, you don't know exactly, uh, but as you're kind of traveling, uh, when you get to, on, on the image that you see before you, um, uh, N2, it's so kind of like halfway into town, uh, once you approach that, you see uh, gray smoke issuing from uh, the chimney of this large two-story wooden building, with a stone foundation, a bit of a sagging tile roof, uh, upon which several ravens are perched, uh, and then a painted wooden sign hanging above the main entrance, depicting a blue waterfall. Um, and just writing, it's blue water in. I already forgot the name of the barkeep. <laughs> Mr. Mitrovich, Mr. Malkovich. Martikov. Martikov. <laughs> right. That was close. Mitrovich. Right there, dude. <laughs> not a real name. Uh, I already almost forgot it again. Holy fuck. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> I was like, you know, that, um... Martikov, um, Martikov. But you are obviously Marty, 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 free Marty, to Marty, do whatever it is you want to do. But if you want to head into the inn, mm -hmm. you can. The door is kind of like, it's not open all the way, but it's kept at a crack. You can see that there's light coming from uh, the inside. A jar. Oh, I'll, I'll just gonna fucking open the door yeah. up. Yeah. I'll I'll it. Go in. Okay. And just, just hope he doesn't care that there's a big dog coming in with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, as you enter the inn, uh, you can definitely, in, in at first glance, can look around, see why uh, this inn is kind of considered a sanctuary from, from evil. Because as you look around, every door and window has, like, mechanisms built around it to just be shut from the inside and barred and made into, like, a very well-defended, nothing, nothing gets in kind of uh, situation. Um, so you also kind of get the sense that whenever shit does hit the fan in this town, this will probably be where the people go to find, try and find some kind of shelter. Uh, as you uh, look inside, you can right. see there is a, uh, a human man and woman uh, standing behind the bar, uh, cleaning some cups, pouring some drinks, that sort of thing. And you can also see a handful of people kind of scattered around the tavern, uh, having a drink, having a meal. Yeah, I'll make my way over to the to the bar and sit down. Uh, as you Get go and drink. sit down at the bar, yeah, there's, there's a few stools kind of like at the bar <laughs> itself. As yeah. you go and sit down, uh, the barkeep, the man, uh, just kind of looks over at you. Good day. What's, uh, what can I do for you? Looking for food, drink, bedding? I think a bit of all of the above for me and my friends here. And I'll all right. gesture to the group. Hello. Um, so that's, what, uh, seven of you? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> I, if it helps, I don't really need the food or drink part. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> six of you, then. Uh, for food, right now, we, uh, my wife here just made uh, a large pot of, of beet soup with some, some, with some fresh bread. Uh, we've also got uh, wolf steaks, if that's something up your alley. Um, <laughs> we make do with what we're at the ranger uh, friend. <laughs> and, the Onu looks at. <laughs> and uh, as far as drink goes, we have a very, uh, very nice uh, house wine. Uh, it comes from the uh, the winery. Oh, Lazarin just parts to the rest. Right up. <laughs> um, bedding wine. will cost okay. you one silver piece a person per night. Uh, if you if you spend a night here, uh, it's an additional silver to have uh, a bite of food. Uh, if you don't spend a night here, the food will be two silver, a meal. Oh, we're uh, we're definitely spending the night. That's for sure. Very good. So um, I'll just put down two gold for everyone because Aranya doesn't want to do that math. So <laughs> that, yeah, I was trying to get out of my head. I mean, two silver each for, uh, I mean, 14 uh, silver, extra, so a gold and four silver. Yeah. Oh, um, thank you very much. Um, all right. Uh, we'll, we'll get those meals uh, going for you. Uh, you want a table? Are you going to just sit at the bar? What's, what's what's your plan? 
Is there a table? For all of us? Yeah. A table would be good. Probably. Is there like a table in the corner? Yeah, like a booth or like. Everybody else. There's no booths, but there are like tables spread about, and there's one like somewhat in the corner. Start striking a table to make like a two like tables together. <laughs> that sort of deal, or just like we need this one. <laughs> right. Are you using this? Oh, the... If you don't get the, the sense that we're using that very much, so <laughs> I want to just um, grab one of the chairs and pull it uh, up against the wall. Okay. Yeah. So you all sit down at the table, and um, <laughs> a few minutes go by, and. Oh, when we we're sitting down the first few minutes, wait, I want to, in sign language, say to Kess, Hey, just so you know, um, now might be a really good time for you to maybe try and have, like, a date with Brooks. Because he, he saw some real, real dark shit earlier. He had a real bad time. He could probably use a pick-me-up. Just saying. <laughs> you know, I'm going to reply back in sign language. You know, You know what he saw? Well, yeah, I got flashes of it when I was Holy hitchhiking. That's oh, true. Oh, no. <laughs> How bad was it on the scale? Like, once bad. A shit it's a very scale. bad scale. Yeah, I mean, like, even, even bad. There's a scale just for the word bad. Like, that's not great. Um, uh, pretty, pretty high up there. Okay. Interesting. Like, probably, like, I'd, I'd rank it as, like, almost as gnarly as when I died. Maybe more? I don't know. Maybe, probably Ooh. more. Probably more, actually. Oh, no. Yeah. So don't, don't, like, press him about it. But I just feel like the distraction might be welcome. Or he might want to be, like, you know, not bothered much. So just try and you go with your instincts. My instincts are this terrible. Yeah, but this is how you practice. <laughs> So y'all are doing whatever, and we're just having this whole, whole chat. Uh, yeah, after a few minutes, uh, <laughs> the woman that was behind the bar uh, approaches your table with uh, six bowls of beet soup and uh, some loaves of bread. Um, all right, if there's anything else uh, you'd like, uh, do let us know. Um, is anyone here interested in some some meat as well, or is, will the soup suffice? What kind of meat? Uh, they wolf. said wolf earlier. Wolf steak. Yeah. How was that? <laughs> it's a bit gamey, honestly. I just pet. I just pet I Onu while they say it. It's, um, it's like hover is The wolves around yeah, these parts. I don't know if you've seen them, but they're quite sizable. Um, they're also very. It's just a bit chewy, and it's it's not great. But not many cows around here, so make do. I mean, have you got any salt and pepper? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a wolf steak on it. You're gonna eat your friend. What, uh, what <laughs> color's the house? He's not a protein. wolf! <laughs> <laughs> um, what'd you ask? Uh, what color the house wine was? Is it red or white? Oh, oh, is it red or white, hell, baby? It's red. It's a rose in vampire it's land. <laughs> it is. Uh, the house wine is... Um, a to... Shiraz. Uh, but our, our house wine would be uh, called Red Dragon Crush wine. Uh, it's it's a red. It's probably red. Uh, we'll go one silver for a uh, for a pint. We fucked up if it's a white. Wine, 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 let's go. They drink wine, wine by the around these parts, dude. <laughs> <Let's> My people. <laughs> you dread to think how the water is if people drink big, wine by the pint. How big is the bottle? <laughs> like how many is it? How many pints are in a bottle? Half a pint bottle. Uh, they they don't, like pint glasses. But they, it's you don't wine. see any bottles anywhere, but you can see that whenever uh, they pour drinks, it all comes from these like vats, like these like barrels. Oh, this is okay. toilet wine, baby. Let's go. Let's go. This is like redneck bathtub brew. Uh, this is like and the toilet labeling wine. This is toilet on wine. the barrels does look pretty like nice. Like it's not the fanciest thing we've ever seen before, but it, you know they, they've spent some. I... Where, whoever make made this wine and and like owns they the wine company definitely it. care about the. Uh, the product I'll, they make. I will have a pint of wine. <laughs> okay. There you go. Well, yeah. e make, easy you solution. Raise your hand if you don't want wine. I mean, I don't. I don't. Okay, so we'll have seven pints of wine. Bring a bitch. <laughs> Bring a trough, and you all can just. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's, let's be seven silver then, please. 
I'll you. pass across seven silver. Bless you. Bless you. Excuse uh, me, sorry. And uh, just just one more of steak. I wonder if anyone else also feel like uh, being particularly oh, no, adventurous this tonight. Is, this soup is good enough. It's in the spot perfectly. Thank you. Aranya sticks super. with the soup in has had wolf steaks more times than they would care to count. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a few more minutes go by and uh, eventually a wolf steak gets put in front of Davian as well as uh, seven pints of wine yeah. put on the table. All right, if you need anything else, just let me know. Who's the seventh for? Well, no, that's before. what I'm having. Uh, Brooks picks up two. <laughs> oh, that's fair. That oh, makes sense. You. <laughs> before you leave us to it, um, what can you tell us about this festival that's happening soon? Oh, uh, the festival of the, the Blazing Sun? Yeah. It seems like the sun doesn't really have a habit of blazing around here, so... No, it seems like not. an odd choice um, of festival. Well, it's... it's um, It takes place in three days. Uh, it's... Um, basically, we have a lot of festivals in this town. Uh, it's a bit of a superstition that we keep throwing festivals and, and, and parties. Um, it keeps the nasty things out, you know, Strahd and his minions. Um, it's, it's just an excuse, a weekly excuse for the people in town to kind of let their guard down a little bit and have some fun and not think about all the misery that has, goes on outside these walls. Uh, it's called the Festival of the Blazing Sun because uh, this church in, uh, in town is a uh, chapel to... Hold on. Mr. Dawnfather? Uh, it's a chapel to St. Andrew. Uh, St. Andrew oh, is uh, a figure of legend around these parts. You're one of the few people that, in the earliest days, took the fight to Strahd and, unfortunately, uh, while very powerful, wielding a powerful blade, uh, unfortunately fell. Hey! And um, he's kind of being referred to as, as, as a symbol of hope and, you know, in dark times like these, in a dark place like this, what bigger of a symbol of hope could you have than the sun? Has anyone in this town seen the sun? I don't really know how this place works. It's been a while. It's been a while. Like, have you always been in Barovia and has it always been this bad? Well, I've been in Barovia ever since I was born. Um, just wow. one day... This area just kind of got moved away from a flourishing sunny kingdom into this place. I mean, oh, so it was already... a whole of, of Barovia that fucking got you on its home. Yes, I don't yes, know. The I was entire, under the impression that it was. The entire area, not just the town itself. Just yeah. the, that town, yeah. That the place is in area. bad shape. Yeah, we'd like to think that we're a bit better off here. But I don't know how much you know, but the town of Barovia is just completely under Schwarz control, mm -hmm. and we'd like to think that we. A bit of a fight. Um, there's the Burgomaster that tries to impose Strahd's will, but you know he's only one man. Well, Don't for better up. or for worse, we uh, put a damper on the the people pie parade. So that's so. Yeah, <laughs> killed killed a few hags at the old bone grinder or whatever. It's good to know. Set it's free know. some some weans. Return right. to the town. Well, God knows how that'll end up. Those bone grinder hags gone, at least. No more pies, meaning no more reason for the parents to sell their children to begin with. So hopefully, this time around, mm. things go better. Yeah, we'll see how they take it, though. You don't strike me as, uh, as as being from here. You, you know, the way you speak about, no. talk about the area. Thank God for that. Fucking hell. Where are you from, and what have you done to deserve getting in, getting... Yeah, winding up here, of all places. Um, we're from, uh... I don't even really... But... <laughs> we're in the shadow fell, right? So, I guess we're from the material plane. Is that... Does that strike you as odd? Is that odd? I mean, that's where Um, Once from. upon a time it would have, <laughs> but... The time spent down here, it's quite obvious that we were no longer on the material plane. Didn't know it was a shadow fell, but that adds up. Right. Yeah, we're from, we're all just from all over, I think. But uh, Cal, Cal, some Calgar, Agren, one of the two, bit of both. I've heard of those places before. Right, no, they were. Uh, 
Yeah. But there you go. We, we're just a, we are, we're just like, a bunch of adventurers, really. You know. No, you're on some adventure if it took you down here. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yep. You could say so. Well, if you need anything, let me know. And um, you you're, you're spending the night here, right? It's, it's getting quite late. The town gates will. I know it's a bit hard to tell sometimes, but the town gates will be shut for our protection in about an hour or so. So if you, you know, plan on going out of the town limits, uh, probably best to wait until tomorrow. Yeah, we'll definitely be spending the night. So once the city or the town is locked down, it won't open until the day after. Make sure that whatever mm. is outside they're trying to get in stays outside. Is it, well, what sort of stuff might be trying to get in? Vampires, werewolves, tanks. To name a few. Surely you have some, some other than just the town guards, but surely you need something a bit more um, considerable to protect you. Any what's your passive? Brain... What's your passive insight, Davian? A team. <laughs> 13? You notice that her eyes kind of go a little bit wider when you ask, and but she quickly collects herself. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's you know, there's, there's other people that try and put up a fight and will come to the town's protection, but mostly the guards. Is she armed? Not as far as you can tell. Can I just give her a quick, like, like any, okay, make a perception you know? check. Uh, is it really obvious good. that Davian's looking her up and down? 14? Uh, you don't see any weaponry on her. So if she is armed, it's it's concealed. There's a, you know, some people that strongly believe that this is the last bastion to oppose Strahd in these parts, and do their damnedest to keep it that way. Uh, if, 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 th if a threat approaches... The, uh, they'll join the fight. Be followers of your, your good saints who uh, fought Strahd before, maybe? Absolutely, yeah. The, um, the sermons um, the sermons at the church tend to start uh, shortly after the city goes on lockdown for the night. Uh, full house every night. A lot of people... Uh, Find some some kind of solace in worship, and you worship the saint himself. That's yes, Saint Andrew. Yes, interesting. Interesting. Why is that interesting? Well, you know, having a idol that is. So recent, I guess. Well, how do I even explain? Someone that ascended so recently is pretty uncommon, I think. I suppose so. It's just a little more tangible and uh, very specific, right? Because the, the, the reason we worship yeah. him is because he tried to put up a fight against Strahd, the, the person oppressing us still. So finding worship in, in, in him just makes more sense around these parts. Do you find... That he is receptive or or responsive. Do you, do you does he offer some kind of of guidance? Well, um, to, 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 best to ask those questions to uh, to to the priest. But um, rightly so. We haven't really had any trouble. Um, Besides, you know, werewolves and, and vampires, sure, but they've never really managed to get in the town. And I'd like to think that's because, not just because we put up a good fight, but also, you know, our, our fight kind of gets a boost from, you know, the worship. Do you, do you think that's what keeps the fog from... Breaching the wall? I think so, yes. Uh, I think um, 
because you guys have noticed, yeah, like as soon as you enter the town, the fog that was trying its trying its best to get in, there's no there's barely any mist in this town compared to everywhere else that you've seen so far. Where there's always been like this eerie thick layer of fog. This town, barely any. Uh, I'd, I'd like to believe so, yeah. That it's uh, St. Andrew protecting us from the realm beyond. I think we'll have to find our way down to one of those summers at some point. Yeah, I mean, once yeah. we'll, one will be starting in about an hour and a half, it would take. So. Uh, the chapel is pretty much all the way across town. Uh, it's, it's close to uh, close to the uh, the west gate. I think. Or I... Hold on, let me double check. Uh, yeah. No, no, you're right. I'm looking at it. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. shape on the map looks very church. Yeah, and <laughs> very chapel y. Yeah. 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 But it's it's um, about an hour and a half, and uh, you'll find a lot of us uh, go in there. So. Well, I don't personally because, you know, got to keep this place open and, uh, and, and stuff, but. Well, I will uh, let, let you get back to such, um, such duties and enjoy my wolf steak. Enjoy. Or, you know, try your best to. Uh, soup's a lot better, though. So. Yeah, if the steak is not yeah. your thing, I won't be insulted if you... Just fuck it. <laughs> With a pepper good. grinder, like, <laughs> all over that shit. <laughs> Are any of the other patrons in here kind of giving us, like, the side eye or seem you definitely interested in us? caught some attention uh, because yeah. it's not often that outsiders enter any place in this realm, let alone... Uh, this, and this town is no exception. Uh, but they don't, like, not... They don't give you the, like, side-eye st stare... The outsiders, man. The, more of just, like, uh, look at you and... Like curiosity. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, curiosity. Like, oh, what are those people doing here? Where are they from? But no one really, like, stares at you longer than a few seconds before they just go back to mind their own business. I deadpan stare anyone who looks at us. You catch a couple people, like, mid-stare, and they just kind of... Awkward. Your wolf steak, by the way, is super chewy. Like, it's very chewy. Uh, a lot of muscle. Not much fat or anything else. But Taste-wise... Those wolves. You know, Taste-wise, it's um, also not great. <laughs> but the standards... I would expect no less. No more or no less. Compared to uh, other places you've been, so protein is protein. Protein is protein, oh. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's either this My or dude, eating King. bugs. So Wolf will have to do. <laughs> so, what's the plan? What do we want to do over the next couple of days? I'm assuming we're attending the festival. Well, the festival's three days away. If we can get the what we came here for before then, and then move oh, on, because okay. time is of the essence. Mm. Definitely think visiting the church at some point is a good call because clearly the church is very tied into this person. He was the last wielder of the thing. Maybe he's like buried with it there or something or maybe they know what happened to it. Maybe there's a crypt uh, under the church. Churches love crypts. I love we, crypts. Churches don't love crypts, okay? They're not together always that's a generalization but you know it's damning to the whole i didn't say every church has one it just said churches love them they're not the same they thing love them. well then why do they always put them there because it's so <laughs> sensitive <laughs> nice <laughs> to keep the demons away it might also be worth talking to this lady uh, seeing why she opposes so vehemently Also said they're like a wealthier family, like they had a fancier house. Rich people buy famous dead people's stuff all the time. So she now could also have this true. <laughs> well, I think it's probably worth checking out this church tonight. No yeah, harm. yeah, I think I, if we're at all pressed for time, I really think there's no time like the present, right? Mm -hmm. Does anyone remember exactly what was said about the inn? About the inn? Said. 
I'm not a clue, I'll be honest. I can't find it. it. So I, I just have my notes. Sword equals blue water in Mithras. Town called Velaki on the way to Berez. So we, yeah, that's okay, everything great. I know. Okay, that's all mine said too. I thought we had more. Yeah, I, I think Bell brought I will, I, okay, hold there on. There's definitely some spiel that you got given by... Um, yeah, that, the, wait, there was some like other stuff actually. In by the fortune now. teller. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Uh... A nest of ravens. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, it's 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 in a nest of ravens. Nest of ravens. Oh, the, the the tarot card had a nest of ravens on it. That when mm. the lady was telling us about it. <laughs> yeah. So in a nest of ravens. Yeah. I want to yeah, snoop. Only, the only reason we know it's here in the inn specifically is because we paid for that information, right? Yeah. Because that was not from the tarot cards. That was a separate time we got yeah, information um, time for the separate sessions. Nest of Raven. You mentioned <laughs> the Nest of Ravens and that fucking weird shopkeep in Barovia. I was like, oh, that's the Blue Water Inn. Yeah. He didn't I would really like give you more to context, snoop. but he was just Dutch. Like, that in. Yeah, okay. Um, Given the vibe mm -hmm. that that very shitty passive insight told me, I will excuse myself from the table. And as innocently as possible, I just kind of want to snoop around <laughs> in an in a manner of a man that's looking for the toilet, but I'm actually just looking for give some you, kind of uh, like like a breakdown of the ground floor just to make your life a little easier. Okay. Um, screenshot this real quick and put it in put it in group chat. <clears throat> this is the ground floor. Okay. Uh, the time when you're in. So you are. Oh, okay. So we are. Uh... You're in at where the tables are. There's a staircase. Well, since yeah. you got the big table by the stairs because of, because of the size of your group, right? Okay. Um, and there's a staircase behind your table. Uh, the only way forward on this floor is uh, you know, behind the bar. But you also did see a stairway like outside before you entered. Um. That lit, that lit upstairs. So, but like from here, the only way you can really How... go without looking, inconspic without looking suspicious is either up the stairs or go outside. Would we have seen? Hold on. Which which building is this on the main N map? Uh, N N2. 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 So we would have approached from the east. Yeah. yeah. So like past the well uh, into the into the building. So you would have seen that. I'm trying to uh, think. Would we upstairs. would we have seen that door on the south, the steps? Um, sort of near that back room. Mm, I'm gonna say probably not, because you have to, like you kind of just. I would assume you as a group just kind of like went, saw the door, and and went in. You know what I mean? There's not really been ha any snooping around the building to to case it. Okay. How's how's the activity sort of behind the bar like? Is someone manning it at all times? Are they busy? Are they going sort of between the front and back a lot? Of the two people, uh, you know, the man that, that initially spoke to your group uh, is pretty much behind the bar at all times. The woman that served you your food kind of dips behind the bar through a door where you presume, among other things, the kitchen would be as well uh, and, and comes out with food every now and then. But they don't really seem to leave. Uh... There's not pretty much someone at the bar at all times, yeah. Okay, in that case, I would probably want to get upstairs unseen so given that we saw the that staircase at the front i would probably go out the front okay and go try and get up those stairs on the outside yeah, and as you see look if... up by the way you can see that there's kind of like this like you know the staircase goes up and there's like a bit of a balcony slash walkway that kind of like goes mm. around the room upstairs uh and you can see that if you look to where that staircase outside led to you can see that the same thing on that side as well uh, like and I guess there's way. a door in onto that sort of, onto that upper balcony. Uh, yeah, you can kind of, from where you are, you can see that there, it, it doesn't connect, as far as you can tell, to the other oh, okay. balcony. It's like a separate area. But there are a handful okay. of rooms on that side as well. As I get up, and I'm I'm going to head for the door, but I want to kind of give the, the barkeep a look up and down to see if he is armed in any way. Make a perception check. Oh, it's good. Uh, 20, 21. 21. Uh, also, not visibly, but you can kind of, mm. like, as you have a good look at him, 
you can see that there's some like some bulgy, shapes bulgy. kind of protruding from his shirt and and uh, uh, you, yeah you can you. definitely tell that he's armed you're not sure what but he has but he's armed okay so yeah I want to step out the front door that main door and then go up the staircase outside preferably without being seen uh are you in a, are you telling your not your party <laughs> that you're doing that well or? i'm just gonna be like oh i'm just gonna go look for the little boy's room sort of thing you know like oh, yeah, gonna, sure. yeah, whatever all right uh make a stealth check needed, needed shit uh 13 uh okay yeah, as you go outside and you go up the the staircase, uh, the door is unlocked, uh, and you okay. find yourself on the guest balcony. Uh, it's a twenty foot long balcony, okay. providing a clear view of the bar. It has a wooden railing uh, carved with uh, raven motifs. Uh, the tap rooms, many lanterns, kind of illuminate the rafters and uh, cast some ominous shadows on the ceiling. But uh, it's you're, you're you're roughly fifteen feet above the like ground floor. Raven no motives, really, you say? No one is really looking at you um, up there. Yeah. And uh, you can see that there are... Boom. One, two... You can see three three doors. Uh, two on the left-hand wall and then one dead ahead of you at the end of the walkway. Hmm... Mm, uh, three doors. Yeah. What's behind door number one? I'll just roll a d6. Yeah. Door number two, please. I would like to listen closely, first of all, to the door. Okay. I'm staying low. I'm trying to stay, like, obviously I'm up on a balcony above the fucking bar, so I'm trying to be, like, stay below the eye level of the railing and hope it yeah. kind of keeps me up the fjord. Uh, make a perception check if you're trying to listen. Thirteen. Thirteen? Uh, you don't hear anything coming from the other side of the door. Can I try the handle? Yeah, uh, it is locked. Why do I have to be bad at this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, um, alright. Fuck. Um, door number one, please. Okay. Uh, you just you're gonna feel for the for the the door. The I'm gonna listen again and. Well, I'm not gonna let you roll again. You're gonna give the same treatment sure. as you did the last door. Um, no noise coming from the inside. Mm -hmm. And but then just try to the handle. All right, last what well, last door? Same thing. Okay. Um. check you don't hear any noise coming from the inside uh, uh -huh. it appears to be unlocked okay i'll open it up slowly uh, and as you open the door you can see that there's four plain beds with straw mattresses uh lining the north wall of this uh, pretty well-lit room each bed comes with a matching foot locker to store clothing in or other belongings uh, a table and four chairs occupy the corner across from the door there's an oil lamp resting on the table, casting a bright yet uh, uh, no, a bright yellow flame. Um, you can also see that uh, this door is lockable from the inside. It has like a, a latch yeah. that you can use to lock it from the inside. And this just seems to you like this could be a guest room uh, for like larger groups. You just broke into our hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. I just, just sneak into the room that we paid for. Uh, so nothing exceptional in there. It's yeah, no, and it, you hazard a guess, in saying that the other two rooms that are locked are also just bedrooms. This seems to kind of be like a guest, the guest yeah. area. So anyone that books a night, like towards the end of the night, they'll get given a key and they can go up here and. and find a bed that they want to sleep in and call it a day. So yeah, this seems to okay, be I'm... like where you're going to be spending your nights. <laughs> like these this So area. you didn't even have to sneak really. <laughs> um 
Yeah, but it was fun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Okay, I will come out and close the door as softly as I can and go back out onto the stairway and then I just, well, I'll just do a little bit of recon around the building. Okay. Uh, going around the building, uh, not much there. Uh, most hustle and bustle is coming from the inside, of course. Um, you do spot a, a well that has clean water in it. Um, and uh, you do spot another set of doors on the south side. And if you go all the way around on the uh, like western side as well. The um, western side is stable. Is, uh, is a stable. Um, so you hear some horses coming uh, like inside. Some, you know. Some, some, Anything some remarkable noises. about either of the sheds? Um, let's have a look. Boop, boop. No, very just normal sheds. Okay. There's not much there to them. Uh, the door at E. Uh, yes. Does that appear to be locked? Let me look for you. Um, do, 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 do. It's like a, a back door to the kitchen for anyone that can't see the map. While you're looking and while Davian's doing his thing, I'll just while the group's just chatting, I just go, hey guys, I just had the realization whenever we stay at an inn since I don't sleep. I could totally just like go through walls and make people think that the inns we're staying at are haunted. Um, that door does not seem to be locked now. Very funny. You should That's not that. your funniest point. Go to the other haunted hotel. I don't think I should go in there. I don't <laughs> think I should go in there. Do it. Uh. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll I'll circle back around and I'll come through the front door and sit back at the table with everyone else. Okay. You just you just get back in here. I mean, I wouldn't do anything too traumatic. That'd be mean. You know, just, just like the classic boring like, ooh, I'm a ghost and just like stupid shit. But then oh, because I'm actually please. a ghost, they'd actually be scared of it and think it'd be funny. <laughs> it would be funny. Do jazz hands as well? Strata, like, ooh, I'm a ghost. Like, I'd Just be like, I'm here to tell you to jazz hands is a part of do your Wait. laundry. Well, I don't know. Yes. Shit. If the... Stairs at the front go to the guest rooms. Mm -hmm. Then what do the stairs in the main bar go to? It'd just be a different alternate entrance to the guest rooms. No, they're separate balconies. They're not connected. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Maybe it's yeah. yeah. Go wise. find out. Extra guest rooms. Go find oh, out. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not the stealthiest though. So for me to just stand up and be like, I'm just gonna slither up this stairwell right behind us, like I would. There's just no way I would get away with that. Instruct us where our rooms would be. You no, the, you kind of just got told that uh, you know have your food first, okay, blah blah, and then when it's you know when before you head out or when you're feeling tired, just you come get a key kind of thing. So as I sit back down at the table, I sort of lean lean in and keep my voice low. So oh, I, I did. I had a little bit of a walk around and. There's like raven carvings all over the place and shit. And uh, there's a door around the back. Doesn't seem to be locked, but stairwell. Well, the staircase outside just seems to lead to the rooms. Don't know where this one goes though. Should I go check it out? Given you can go invisible I can and go also extra pick locks, now. Uh, might be a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can. Yas, bestie, slay. <laughs> and if if you get like too far away, thing. or if something happens to you, then I'll be a great indicator. Because if I just start being pulled in a direction or disappear, they'll know something's happened. <laughs> at least just they'll know that you're at least like, 500 feet away or some shit like that. What's the range? 150 feet is this? Uh, only 150. 150. 150? Yeah. Okay, okay. We can we get pulled away anyway. She goes upstairs. <laughs> It's just whether or not she's Dragon alive within 150 feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, also, I'm like, it's... oh god, oh, we're going. <laughs> yeah, because I think you get transported <laughs> to like to uh, 
wherever that zone ends, right? So you're slowly just kind of like being dragged. Yeah, I would just be like, if she starts walking, I would just be like yeah. pulled away. I'd be like, bye guys. But that line does like go through walls the and ceiling. stuff. It's not, it's like, yeah, like direct, yeah, yeah. direct line. It's not like you have yeah, to go. So she, and it's, yeah, because I can go through walls. Yeah. So I would just be in a straight line, keeping yeah, exactly. that 150, wherever Wait, like she's going. If you're, if you're, you're in your body, your is pretty great. if you're in your body and she walks away, do you just get sucked out of your body? Yes. Yes. That happened before. That has happened before. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that has happened before. Body goes sure that happened, like... There's so many dumb things we could do with that. <laughs> As you're kind of spending some more time here, you can see that there's uh, more people coming and going, having a, having a meal. Um, we'll say that while Davian has done his little first initial scouting, you've had some food. It's been about 30 minutes since you arrived at this place. Um, and this is the first place in this realm that you visit where you feel somewhat at ease. Uh, like definitely the least eeriest of uh, the least eerie place of of of, the, of everything you've seen so far in this. Uh, that makes it more eerie. eerie. That is a low bar. It is a very <laughs> low bar. Yeah, that is a low bar. That bar is buried underground. Wow. Um, you know, that bar is below like sea level. Time for Aranya. <laughs> <laughs> I try. They're like, this is great. <laughs> So, uh, what's happening right now? Uh, what's, what's the super invisible thing? I think thing? Cass is going to get up to some, some skullduggery. Skullduggery. <laughs> so, wait, so you're saying there's a door at the back that I should go through? No, the staircase right behind the your table is what he mentioned. Okay. Okay. Well, I mentioned both. I mentioned oh, both. Yeah, oh, oh, you did. You did. Right. Yeah. But so the door at the back all... is not what we should go Do through. Do it all. Right? And then there's the staircase. Which one is the priority? Which one do you want me to go to first? Staircase. Staircase? Surely. Surely staircase. Because door at the back is door at the back, right? This is weird. <laughs> that staircase doesn't go... Well, this staircase doesn't go... As far as we know, to the rooms. Well, if I had to That's guess, the staircase probably goes to where the fucking couple who run the place live. Probably. Oh, that's a good shot. Where we'd want But to given the vibe that I've got now, they're... No, I would be willing to say that they're both probably more considerably armed than they would ever appear, and more involved in um you know the fight against strad than um they might want to let on which is not a bad thing so there could be some interesting shit in there if that is where they live is okay. it is it worthwhile waiting but no i might as well just do it now right there's no reason to yeah. wait i'm uh... if we do it now while the place is busy are we wait an hour everyone's f gonna fuck off down for the sermon so well, when you go about we got about half hour or so, so you know. Well, I'm just saying, you know, there's people in the boat at the moment, whereas they probably won't be in a short time, so. Yeah. It's busier. They're busier. Probably not paying too much attention to invisible elementals slinking up the stairs. You don't know that. <laughs> well, okay. you know, you're right. Where can I go? Let me go in Okay. I'm going Yeah, I'm going to go out front. Okay. Uh, when I'm outside, I'm going to cast... I'm just going to cast Invisibility. I'm not going to bother casting Greater. Alright. Uh... Uh, is anyone like going in and out? Like, is it really busy, or is everyone who's like inside like staying there? Some people like, do no come else? and go. Um, every few minutes or so, either someone will leave or someone will come in. Yeah. Okay. When someone comes back in or leaves, I'll like dart through the door. Okay. So make a um, like dexterity check. Okay. Woo. Uh, 14. Okay, it's not the most graceful thing. You almost bump into someone that that kind of like walks through, but you manage to just kind of catch yourself on like the um, the, the door frame and just kind of uh, manage to uh, to slink through. 
It's a good thing nobody That's can right. see you, because that was probably the least graceful you've ever tried to sneak past someone. <laughs> Thank God I'm invisible. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to go up the stairs. Yep. And as you get upstairs, uh, you see a wooden balcony stretching the full length of the tap room, uh, enclosed by a wooden railing carved with raven motifs. Um, and you can see that there is uh, three doors on this side as well. Okay. So the first one. Two, one. like one pretty much directly across from the staircase. Like one you look directly at as you go up the stairs. And there's one like kind mm. of halfway down the balcony uh, on the right hand wall. And then there's one at the like end of the hall or end of the balcony, I mean. Does, do any of them seem to have like more ravens on it than the other ones or are they all just like plain doors? They just seem pretty plain doors, yeah. Okay. Uh, does the, is the first one locked? This could be more fucking guest rooms, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> <clears throat> it is locked. Okay. Does it sound like there's anyone inside? Make a perception check. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, wait, that skills. Uh, uh, 24. 24? Yeah. Uh... You don't hear anything. Okay. I'm gonna pick the lock. Alright, make a check with your thieves tools. Okay, which is... Uh, 16 plus... Proficiency. So, 19. I don't add anything else, it's just proficiency, right? Uh, dex and proficiency. Oh, okay, so 22. Okay. Uh, yeah, you open the door, hear that satisfying click again, and as you push the door open, you can see uh, matching end tables flanking a large wooden frame bed with a red silk canopy. Uh, across the bed hangs a tapestry depicting a beautiful mountain valley. You reckon, you know, what this place looked like before it got sucked into eternal darkness. Uh, and the other walls uh, dominated by a fireplace and a wardrobe. Uh, this seems like a master bedroom. Your best guess is this is where the owners of the tavern uh, sleep. Okay. That's just at first glance. I want to look around. <laughs> okay. Um, make a perception check. Twenty-five. Five. Oh my god. Um. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. You notice two things in this room. Um. Gotta make sure that I say them in the right order. The sunblade <laughs> and mm -hmm. the sunblade. <laughs> uh, the sunblade and the big the... fuck up monster guarding. Yeah. <laughs> Left corner. <laughs> and Stroud. Oh, you spot a hidden trapdoor in the eight-foot-high ceiling. Oh. So the attic? Perhaps. Uh, <laughs> and you also see um, that the wall uh, to the left of the bed, so like across from where you see the, the uh, trapdoor going up. Something about that wall seems off. Like, I don't really seem... You kind of have a feel, and you kind of like do some... You know, you roll a 25 or whatever, right? So, like, you do some knocking, you have a feel, and it seems hollow. It seems to be something behind Ooh. this wall. Okay. Um... So, you've revealed two places in this room that might... Okay, I'm gonna leave. Uh, Lock the door behind me, just in case. Uh, and go check the next door. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. This door is unlocked. Uh, does it sound like there's anyone inside? Make a reception check. Cool. 
19? You hear some faint... Not a very loud s snore, but some faint snoring. Oh. Hmm. Okay, can I try and like really quietly open the door and just peer inside? Oh. Make a stealth check with advantage because you're invisible. <laughs> and I have a plus four d4 even, which is a plus four, so stealth. Uh, da, 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 da. Four. Twenty-six. Ooh. Yeah, you open the door and you can see uh, a large painted toy box resting between two, between two small cozy beds. Murals of ravens in flight are painted on the walls above the wood paneling. You can oh. see that there's two young boys, one in each bed. Ah, okay. I'll silently close the door again for now. And then, what's the last door? Like, is, does that seem locked? At the end of the balcony. Yeah, this is locked. Okay. Does it sound like anyone is inside? Yes. You do hear something. Coming from the other side, it's quite obvious because the, the person inside is quite loud. Oh. You hear a lot of... Uh, what do you hear? A lot of shuffling around. Um, like the sound of, of, of something being scraped across the floor. Almost like... Uh, you know, almost sounding like, you know, someone rearranging the furniture. Like it's loud. Like someone is dragging mm. shit around. And oh, I don't like that. Quite loud. Okay. Uh, I'm going. Okay, I'm gonna have Hawthorne come out of the vessel and go invisible. Um, okay. and uh, just instruct him to tell the others um, that I found a trap door and what, what looks like a fake door, like a fake wall. <clears throat> okay. Should I look at, through the trapdoor? Or do I, they want me to wait? He flies down and... You told him to go invisible, right? Yeah. So he'll land on... Two, three, four. Uh, <laughs> can't really land on Diagon's shoulder, though, because Diagon is a, you know, doesn't really have shoulders to land on. So we'll go to the next person over. Oh, no! No, I'm I'm physical. I can just yeah, like manipulate true. my. It's true, like true, I true. feel so, I feel you, not completely there. Like it's uh, weird. You, you, Hoth, you just hear describe. Hawthorne's voice next to you. Yeah. I am. Oh. I, I mean, I'm invisible. Shh. I okay. um. Kes found some shit, hidden doors, and is asking if you want her to go look or should she wait. Okay. Hey guys. Hey guys, uh, Hawthorne's like like here, and Kes Kes found some secret shit, and is wants to know if we want to go back her up or if she should just keep investigating. There's like oh. trap doors and like fake walls and shit. Well, where we she can't is. go back her up, so she I... probably come back. I mean, we could, but it would cause a ruckus. Be the most. I mean, yeah. So we, yeah, we can't all just hustle upstairs and start no. busting we should, She's not going there by herself. That we don't know okay. what's up there. She has. To... If someone doesn't go up there, Cass will go in on her own. This is Cass oh, we're talking about. No. No, we just ask her to come back. This we is Cass we're back. talking about. It doesn't matter. We say she comes back. Okay, she's not a moron. Her, tell her group group votes come back she because knows. we can't we can't back her up and not. I get am willing caught. to bet you five gold that she does not come back down. Well, if she doesn't come back down, Fine. she won't find us here. Group vote, come back. All but right. Yes, group vote, group come, vote come back. Group vote, come back. up there. They want you to come back. Because, um, they didn't say, but I'm an expert at picking up context clues, and, uh... 
hate to see you die on your own, and it's pretty hard for them to <laughs> all get up here without causing a kerfuffle, so it might be better for you to go back down there and wait for a point in time where there's a little less people around so you can all sneak up there. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Have um... <laughs> Don't you dare prove Brooks right. Don't you dare. <laughs> So you're doing, you're making Don't you dare. correct. Don't, don't listen, don't listen to Duke. Don't do what prove the character right. would do. No don't one actually him. took Brooks's bet. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into the master bedroom. Okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> and I wanna see if I can like investigate that fake wall some more and see if I can find any way like there's like an opening. Like... This isn't really what you said would happen, but as you go to investigate the back wall, I said you, you just kind of push down. it. As you push it, it kind of like slides into the wall a little bit, or like a little bit further in, and at that point, it becomes this like sliding door that you can just slide it aside. If I slide it aside, can I see anything inside? Yes, just a little bit. Uh, what do you see? Oh shit, that's the letter H. Uh, you see dim light spilling in through a pair of uh, dirt-encrusted windows, revealing piles of hay with pitchforks sticking out of them. Um, and hundreds of ravens that all begin cawing. Oh no. Oh, no. Do we hear this? Because of the Do door we hear this? opening. And you hear a lot of... Yeah, it's loud as fuck. And everyone downstairs kind of oh, just... God. And at that point, uh, the man behind the bar immediately like darts upstairs oh good uh, and it takes him like like 15 seconds to enter the master bedroom seeing that the door can is i follow open. him up yeah i want to yeah follow him. he has an excuse to come up <laughs> they were like yeah. wait wait before we fall like she's still invisible isn't she she's like she invisible. could just she could just yeah. like oh yeah open we shouldn't draw attention to her being like if we all run up there sure then it's like, but i'm oh. i'm gonna i'm as gonna follow as fine as well i'll feign curiosity but i'm going up after him we all know it was I... kent that made the noise yeah, i think this is a bad idea kind of... I want uh, as soon as all I mean, realistically, we didn't have time to have this conversation. As Davian's already yeah, no, exactly. no, exactly. This is one of those like 15 no, seconds right for the guy him. to be from behind the bar to the, up up the staircase, and the door is right there. So he is inside. He, he like steps into the room, looks around, sees that that door still open. Yes. Yeah. I won't follow him into the room. No, but, uh, I um. Uh, he <laughs> immediately runs towards the door and like shuts it and like. Psh, Comes back, it comes back in, turns around, and... Hello? So he's in Anyone the room with the door right now. Well, he shut the door with the ravens in it, and Kes okay. is now shut in that room, was my okay, understanding. Okay. I, don't think Kes was in the, you guys I don't think Kes was in the actual raven room, she just like no. looked in oh. it. No. Oh, yeah. there you go. So yeah, it's fine. I'm. I make it. I would like to point out. Also, I made it a point to stay downstairs, sat at our table, because I trust Kes would just I... get out of it, yeah. and I'm Went waiting with the... the... With, with the door open, mm -hmm. Kess, did you close the door behind you, or was the door open? Because it was unlocked, obviously. But I would have closed it behind me. Yeah. So. Okay. But I mean, the homie opened the door. He didn't like shut it behind him or anything, right? No. Okay. I I'll like knock. Like I'll stand. I'll be stood in the in the doorway, and I'll like knock on the open door. Uh, is is, is everything is everything all right? Huh? I don't know. And I'm over his shoulder. Yeah, so it's, we're very much like, all like round. Yeah. Like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm down. Uh, three dumbass musketeers. Yellow. Just a bit of a, a, a bit of a, a, a ruckus. I don't know. I was excluding Aranya. Aranya. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have this like raven cloak, right? With like raven feathers. I was gonna and shit. say. I assume it has like a brooch in the shape of a raven or something. Keep you know keeping it. This is the first time he really like neck. actively takes you in. Yeah. Ooh. Someone's in here. That much I know. Are you sure? Yes. And he'll look at Aranya. Oh, sorry. And then look at the rest of you. I know you're not from here. I'm actually from Kresk. <laughs> the majority of you are not from here. <laughs> so 
something's going on. And if there's shenanigans happening under my roof, my kids are asleep in the next room over, I'd like to know. What are you, what are you implying to be going on? What do you define as shit? Oh, I don't I don't want to pull the like what are you accusing us of, sir? But like Well, I'm I'm going off with like as in what are we doing here or do you think we're up to something? I need to know what this level of trust is here. <laughs> this is supposed to be one of the I noticed last your friend Strad, right? the blue one leave hasn't come back yet. That happens to do happens to have anything to do with the raven cacophony of the cacophony of raven sounds happening. Can I while this conversation is happening? Like now would be a good time for you to see. He's like he's upstairs. like looking at you all and and just like behind him. Big bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. And then back downstairs. <laughs> Um, can I, um, fly up and over the heads of everyone and go oh out through the front door? Oh my god. You can? <laughs> How, you're, are you... If you cast fly, you'll you go, cast on, fly? you'll be visible. You'll, it's you'll... not, no, it's no. not a spell, it's just like... Okay. Yeah. As you do that, and as you're right above him, he just oh god. grabs you by the leg. No, fuck, no! <laughs> Like not like for, like not in a trying to hurt you way, but like pulls you down to the ground. Davy and just puts his hand on the, the fucking hill. I step foot in this room. But <laughs> given you're not from here, I'm willing to give you an opportunity to explain. Okay. We're trying to kill Strahd, and we believe that you might have the tools to help us to do so. He kind of just looks at you and... <laughs> <laughs> Give me... But that's not that's <clears throat> fully true, I'll be honest, actually. We're not trying to kill Strahd, it just happens to be... <laughs> that's not our main goal, but it's a sort of side thing that might happen. Strahd's a side so... quest, guys. <laughs> it's, I mean, kind of is. Okay, 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 okay. okay. We'll talk about all of this. Just... I... This is a lot. I... I'm... Trusting you. Because I... am Ridiculous. On the inside, so I need to... No way you guys fucking outshadow that. <laughs> it's in any way. What um, do you think? <laughs> you got a good read of our character. Yes. Hey, yes, it was did. idiot, idiot, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. I think that your friends here just wanted to avoid you having to say anything out loud that might have gotten you into any trouble. Mostly we just want to make sure, that to make sure that we're in the right place. Come inside and get all of your friends and get my wife. Who's still sat at the table? Tygen. Sure. Me. Just Tygen. <laughs> I am using I'm using Mage I'm Hand to branch, pour yeah. all your wines together into <laughs> Brooks's glass. So you're all gonna come down and Brooks will have a full mug pints and everyone else's will be empty. Well I'm just gonna lean over the balcony and be like dog and Brooks can fucking get up here. Or send Onu to like oh, well. grab onto fucking Brooks's <laughs> pant leg or some shit. And be like, as you as you as you two go upstairs, um, his wife accompanies you with me. as well as four other patrons in the tavern. They all huh? come upstairs. Oh god, the whole fucking. All right, can I here? make a very Cavalry. quick assessment of the four patrons that are coming with us? Are they just interested, or are they like they were plants? They're they're, they're walking with club. purpose. Okay, I think they're people, not plants. <laughs> and you're eventually like gathered in this master bedroom. Uh, Must be very cramped. And uh, there's six of them. That's quite a quite quite a big room. Uh, master suite. And then there's <laughs> so there is the barkeep, his wife, these four patrons, and you can the like sliding secret door that Kes previously uh, found slides open, and three more people come from in there to this room. Oh God. <laughs> Jesus. We're outnumbered. And the barkeep now now looks at Yukes and he just kind of like 
gives you a wink, and you can see that his eyes go from like this normal look to these like it's this this like bright, almost like shining, uh, like gray color. Man got some true sight shit or some nonsense. Man, I knew I should. I, I saw you going upstairs. I just figured I'd wait and see <laughs> what you're up to. I love that. So, you know when I told you all that Kes wouldn't come back down after he said that she should come back down? I was just gonna see how it opened and then me. immediately come back. Why would you ask for our opinion if you're gonna do what you want anyway? Can we keep the squabbling among your group until we're done here? Thank you. Because sure. you have, after all, broken into my private property and it's you know, something I'll let slide based purely on what you just told me. So what is it you think you'll find here to help you? Oh, what is God, I don't breaking want to say in sunblade. Right. Not the sunblade. Oh. Definitely not the sunblade. <laughs> We're looking... I have reason to believe that it's probably already on what either yours or your person at this point, but it's not. But we. But that's just a stab in the dark. <laughs> we, Aww. as a collective, are tasked with protecting the blade. Oh. And you can see this entire group of people, kind of like their shapes begin to shift and they all turn into ravens. Oh no. Ooh. Whoa. And then they transform back. Are the children ravens too? Is this guy asking that? Yeah, actually, just out loud. <laughs> yes, we're, we're were ravens. We, um. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. I have a question. They turn to like be. Like, Big ravens, or are they just like they're quite like shy. Owl bear, they're quite shy. Raven they're, man. Some of them turn into small yeah, ravens, raven. but the the the, 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 the barkeep and his wife turn into like more sizable. Is Nev ravens. still on my shoulder? Like ravens? No, the Nev size like of flew on. Like he's around here somewhere around this town, but he's not <laughs> oh, okay, right so now. he's just That's horrifying. Well, but Anya just has a thought then of is Nev holding out on me? <laughs> <laughs> we are a group Bruh. known as the um, Keepers of the Feather. We, one of the very few groups in this realm that still try and oppose Strahd. And Have I heard of before this? his passing, or after his passing, we were tasked with protecting St. Andral's blade. So we don't really feel inclined to give it to a group of people we don't know or trust. Well, we weren't expecting you to just hand it over. I and mean, we weren't really intending on stealing it or anything either, but just sort of making sure you had it. And then probably just sort of, you know, doing what we're doing right now. Right. We were told by someone that this would be the place to look for yeah, it. Yeah, so... fortune, fortune telling lady who is also very anti straw said to come here. Really? That's, that's a cool. Yeah. Mm. It's quite the Julia story. Had I heard of this group? Um, make a history check. I bet they they have a code word, and it's like birds of a feather flock together, or some shit. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's the sparrow flies south for the winter. Thirteen. <laughs> yeah. You punch them. You you know, given your um, allegiance with the Raven Queen, you were you were told that. Um, you were told that there are more uh, people that that have have adopted the like raven iconography in these parts that had you know that not necessarily have anything to do with her. Um, oh, okay, so they're not. But you were never told the name of the group or anything. Like this is very much like like you know like secret society type shit. Like people okay. that know are on the inside, or they don't know. I love joining secret societies. <laughs> It's yeah, we're just hobby. racking them up at this point. I ate them, so here we are. So, you, ate them. you you want the Sunblade. You know we have the Sunblade. That that in, in and of itself is a problem, but... Oh, that, well, I wouldn't say it's a problem. Well, we're not going to tell anybody. You won't have the opportunity to. But... Oh, <laughs> given <No>. that... <laughs> I believe that you plan on taking the fight to Strahd. 
I want to ensure that you are capable of protecting the blade before I just simply hand it on to you. A test. Yep. Yeah. This feels very familiar. <laughs> We're really good at doing that. Is one going to involve, like, you know, like, intelligence, and then there's going to be a test involving, like, physical strength, and there's going to be, like, is this... It's really not that intricate. It's illusions. just going to a okay. matter of going to the winery and find out who or what is stopping my wine shipment from coming in and killing anyone who is trying to stop it. Kill? Oh, wow, that's much wine. Holy shit, this is a great <laughs> trial. Why can't all, like, item trials be like this? Just a simple that's, like, so much easier. test to see if you are A... Trustworthy enough, you know, keep your word. And be physically capable of ensuring the safety of the blade. We killed three hags on the way here. And a shadow monster. Also, we chose to come here. <laughs> want the blade like, or not? By choice. Huh? You want the blade or not? Well, yes, but like... It will, I mean, we'll do it. Well, that was so let the man let the man set his terms. We need to find some way of being accredited so we don't have to prove ourselves to everyone we meet. We I don't really point. fancy I don't know if anything, the alternative sort of annoying. to helping him out. Oh. There's a, a, a vineyard and winery a few miles west of town. Let's follow the old Spallus Road out and we'll find it. Quick question: Is it a like for red wine, white wine? You've oh had our wine, no? <laughs> no, very true. Wine. That's enough. Was, was their wine good. good? Like, is it worth yeah. going over? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty good. For... <clears throat> okay, I mean, it we, is very good wine. Can we can we get a chance to to rest though? Because I guess we far already. Yeah, it's just nothing, not something that has to happen today. now. Plus, they're closing okay. down the gates in less than an hour anyway. So. Oh, that's good. But it's it's not as simple. Wine is not just. I'm not just sending it. Wine is the. It helps the people of this town keep at peace. Some sem you With know, the people, alcohol, pie is gone. Especially. If, if Demand is going to be high. Crack pie. <laughs> right. <laughs> Without the wine, people are going to become very uneasy and things are going to go south. And we don't want that, so. You know, for you, it, it might seem point. as simple as doing something that I don't want to do. While that is partially true, it's it's simply a trust exercise. You do this for me, I know that you're somewhat good for your word, and I'll feel a lot better giving you Sunblade. No. Like catching someone after they jump up a cliff. Is that something sure. you what? Really do? He's like it putting a chicken count. in someone's house. Guess what the fuck are you talking about, dude? It doesn't count if you <laughs> throw them off the cliff first. <laughs> I only did that once and it wasn't part of that exercise. Anyway, this, um, just, well, it's got you, got you all here. Mm. You know, is the sermon worth listening to? Is it, you know, got some good information about what's going on? Is um, it just like a hope thing? Pretty good. Um, you know, uh, helps you understand a bit more about our saints, for one, and, um, well, it's as far as well. I, I can see that you're a religious individual, right? Yes. Sure. Not. Yes. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> as far as most religions are concerned, it's merely just there. Uh, oh, give people hope in trying times. Whereas this, because this is something tangible, um, it's something that just helps the town. In more than just a keeping some semblance of peace kind of way. Not really quite sure how to explain it. But morale. Worth. It's good for town. Worth morale. listening to if you're, you know, if you're here. Sure. Okay. Well. Anyway, we'll... then you'll hand you some keys. These are for the rooms across on the other balcony, since you are paying for bedding here. Um, try and not break into my private rooms again, please. Oh, of course. I will definitely Trust try exercise to starts now. Not do that. I catch you snooping around again. Heels off. Just to avoid this entirely. 
I mean, just because I know what's going to happen here. I know my friends. I'm curious. Anything sort of super secret in the attic or just an attic, right? Aw, oh, he called his friends. <laughs> He's not got many Nothing relevant to you. Perfect. All we need to know, just fantastic, because oh, that one... find the blade. Really gets all Briar needs to know, but... Do we believe him? Yeah, passive insight 21. <laughs> yeah, no, he seemed pretty forthright. Forth, forth I want to know where he looked. <laughs> Oh no, it's the security number. Uh, yeah, I dude. wanna know what right. kinky shit they're keeping in the attic. <gasps> just a couple gimps. I, I, I just wanted to. Right. Anyway. This has anywho. been a headache, but <laughs> so sorry about the break-in. Mm. Wasn't intentional as a group. Well, I mean, I'd in some way or another it still gave us a result we suppose we were after, but uh If it helps I break into a lot of places. Doesn't help. Yes, that doesn't, doesn't help. help. You really shouldn't have said that, to be honest. Shut the fuck up. You should have said, no, oh, wait, uh, first time I've ever done this. The, um, you know, the winery, it's the not a matter of doing it done. now or, you know, whenever you... It's just a matter of you're not getting a blade until you do. Yep. But, you know, what I ask. Of course. I mean... So whether it takes days or weeks, it's up to you. Friend or foe, I don't think at any point we expected you to just hand it over as soon as we asked, so... This is true. I'll be we'll honest, get, I'm we'll surprised you, they even got it. We'll get your shit done in a timely manner, hopefully, and you know, we'll give the blade back when we're done with it, I'm sure, unless it's like absorbed in the killing of said you strad like or, back. you know, it's whatever. kind of the sole purpose of our... Does, do you really need it when he's dead? It's a holy relic, so probably... Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, a, it's a yeah. piece of their history. Would it be even cooler if we killed him with it like would it be worth more why Could don't we start really asking really dumb questions, questions and so, just say yeah. that as long as it's within our abilities we will bring it back well would be of course i'm not implying that we wouldn't bring it back i'm just curious what sort of you know like what well, i'm you sure know, to some people that would add value would we to be us, amazing already to us it's already would we be would we be worth it as we no. succeeded where a certain saint I mean, the story didn't. will be told for for generations to come uh, obviously yeah perhaps would a few statues to accompany saint andrew's statue all right okay 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 can we put pen to paper on that <laughs> well i don't decide i'm going it's... downstairs yeah aranya's piecing out of this conversation <laughs> Is just to them. Sure not like... Next time you see us, next well, actually, we're sleeping here, so you'll probably see us around. But <laughs> next time we have a conversation that isn't about bed and board, we'll have a lot of wine for you. We'll be the one supplying the wine. Hopefully. Right, this has been. Usually, Kess is supplying all the wine. Am I right, guys? Sorry. Right. Mm -hmm. See you later. This has been odd, but um Your kids are cu super cute. I probably Excuse me? I didn't I didn't break it. Oh, oh my no. god. Hi. No. I'm gonna ask that. You like you I... you stun lock him. I put <laughs> my hand on his shoulder and just go, I'm so sorry about her. Well, I'm sorry for you because you travel with her. <laughs> if it... it has its entertainment occasionally. It's the a lot like this, though. You can tell that <laughs> he's... better. He doesn't really seem... Very, like, upset. Like, he's a bit pissed that you broke into his, like, shit, right? But he's, he's also like, kind of, like... He's understandably annoyed, but... Like... He's understandably annoyed, but it's also... it's He's also, like... He got a good read on you and, and believes you, and the idea of someone else besides them opposing Strahd does please him, which is why he's kind of... You get the sense that this, like, task he wants you to do... Is not necessarily to prove that you're some like powerful people. It's more of just like a what's it called? It's more of like a um, fuck. What's the word I'm looking for? Hazing? No, it's bargaining chip. Uh, it's to make him feel better about giving it away. Yeah, it's it's not. Yeah, uh, it's just like oh, do some shit for me. Then there's some kind of, like, trust. Then I can give Maybe. you the thing. He's trying to justify why. He's doing yeah, it. exactly. 
Yeah. Um, and we're not helping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Mm. When, when do we ever? Uh, but yeah, eventually oh, yeah. Uh, he kind of like scurries you all out of the room and him and his wife go back downstairs and these like other were ravens also just like accompany you downstairs. They don't say a word, but they just come to, come to you downstairs. Go back right. to sit down at their various tables and be chill. I don't expect you to sit and describe them all in detail, but can I just take the time to, to uh, try and memorize what they look like? They all look different. Uh, it's very much... They definitely seem planted. Um, the description that the tarot card reading gave you was, you know, in a nest of ravens. That part makes sense now. Um, but they're all just... They look like normal people. There's this one woman who is just wearing these, like, common clothing. There's this man wearing leather armor. No, not one of them looks the same as the other. They just look like normal people. But, and that is kind of the, the point. Uh, yeah. They're not all wearing a uniform. There's nothing that really... There's no similarities between them besides the fact that they just appear like normal people that live in a shitty town. Yeah, but I want to know. I want to commit to memory specifically what these normal people look like. I mean, generic person one. Literally through eight, generic person one through eight. Yeah, like it's it's really not that deep. They just look like people. You know I want to be. A <laughs> I just want to be able to recognize them if we see them in a different setting. Um, yeah, yeah. That's the, the yeah. that's the extent of the paying attention to them. Yeah, that's fine. That's Not fine. like a I want to know exactly like do they all have mm -hmm. the same fucking curl of hair? What moles do they no, have? No, no, that's fine. Oh, that you can takes... you can kind of like study them a little bit to kind of make sure that you recognize their faces oh. next time you see them. Yeah, sure. Bearing in mind at this point, I'm finishing my second pint of it. Uh, well, you go uh, downstairs wine. and you'll notice everyone else's are emptied and yours is full. I begin <laughs> drinking my third mug of wine. I would say, how much do you think we have drank to like the amount that needs to be filled up in Brooks that makes like an equivalent amount? <laughs> like... But um, other than that, unless there's more shenanigans to be had for the nights, um, I kind of want to go to the sun. You hear like honest. a bell fucking do do. That uh, and and you hear everybody kind of like getting up and this group of people you can see as you kind of like peer outside this group of people heading towards the church. Yeah. Um, that bell seems to imply that the sermon is about to start and the town is officially locked down for the night. Um, so if you want, you could travel to the church and and and, and explore there. Uh, I mean, more info bit. is good if they yeah. talk about the dude who sort of like maybe. It's I'm just. We'll learn something helpful. I don't know. Okay. Curious about this whole thing. It's fair enough. It seems uh, a little weird. I suggest then we go on break. break. Hell we'll, yeah. Uh, we'll pick this up uh, after the break. We'll, uh, yes. Go to church. Remind me after the break, uh, Briar, to like kind of give you, give Aranya like, uh, oh, by the way, this is what you know about San Angeles since you're from these, par th these parts. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I, I have not done that yet, but so I'll make sure that you're up to speed with what, what your character knows about uh, this Saint Andrew fella. You can tell us. No. Nope. Uh, all right. You. Gang, we'll be right back. Thanks for sticking around. Appreciate you. And we'll be back in uh, five minutes or so for more uh, shenanigans. Shenanigan. I'm gonna BRB. get some ice cream. Nice.
Hello, hello, hello. hello. Mama, hello. cream. Hello. Hello. Hey, up. All right. Hey, up, love. Hey, I lose everybody. Up. What the fuck? Hi, Hi Dr. Meg. It was uncalled for. Hello, <laughs> Um, welcome back. No, I was talking to. Welcome back, one and all. Uh, let's just get fucking right back into the swing of things, huh? Um, so the town's bells have rung. The town is now officially locked down for the night. The gates have been shut, and you can tell that there's a lot of guards manning the gates now, compared to the, only the two at the one gate that you met, that you saw when you initially entered. Uh -huh. And there's a group of like a good 20 or so people all traveling towards uh, the church. Uh, are you all going towards the church? And attend yeah. the sermon? Okay. Yes. Wait, is that a no? Uh, yes, nope. bestie. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm staying, I'm I'm staying at the tavern. Okay. I'm staying with the works. Fair enough. So everyone barring... Uh, ooh, that's going to make... A, Difficult for Daigon to go if Gus is not going. Well, then I guess I'm staying. It's fine. <laughs> Sorry, mm. Fred. Uh, Gus has to stand halfway between the church and the tavern. <laughs> There's definitely more than 150 feet uh, away from the tavern, unfortunately. So I yeah, guess. Yeah, because the church is N1 or N2. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's more than one. What is it? Yeah. 300 feet? <laughs> no, uh... it's, it looks like it's even more. It looks like it's about 1,000 feet plus between just over looking at that little slider thing on the bottom that's a lot of feet yeah, yeah it's, why did uh, i know you were gonna say that it's a little uh it's a little it's a little ways away uh yeah. like what would that be like i don't know more than that range for sure oh what the fuck i just what? help wow, wow, i just wow. shut my fucking image off i'm stupid <laughs> hold on Yes. Open the fucking screen share again. Guy. Hi, my name's Dagon. Hi, my name is Dabian. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I fucking it's closed okay. the wrong thing. I know who I am, but I'm probably okay. a loser. You're currently Arana. Oh no! I'm not a loser. I, I take it back. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> Should be good now. Um, okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, you fucking will be. The fuck, dude? Jesus. <laughs> so, Davian, Aranya, Jax, and Elazarin are heading towards the church. Um, Aranya, what you know yeah. of, of St. Andrew is that uh, you don't know much about him, uh, but you know that he was a paladin of the Morning Lord, uh, which is a, a, a deity they've kind of adopted here. It's a, it's a, it's a dead religion. Um, no one... Like even before um, Strahd's thing, no one really spoke of the Morning Lord. It is just when all of the shit went to the to, to, when it all went shit, they just grasp at the nearest thing regarding sunlight and anything that opposes. The, like it's the complete opposite of what's going on here, and they've kind of revived this religion and this 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 deity as their like beacon of hope. Um, so... Amen. Ah, exactly. Fighter of the night, man. Pretty much, yeah. You know, Champion you don't know much about St. Andrew's story in, in detail. All you know is that he was a paladin of um, the Morning Lord, and uh, he is, to some degree, responsible for uh, the fact that the town of Valaki even still stands. Um, he took the fight to Strahd on several occasions, and eventually... Uh, the fight against Strahd cost him his life. Uh, but that's about what you know. That's like the TLDR of like, oh, it's kind of what you know. What 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 Saint Andrew was about. I will relay all of that to my new friends. Okay. We're friends. And as you uh, all kind of meander towards the the church, uh, everybody approaching uh, the church, you'll see uh, in in like build and once you enter it in layout it's very similar to the one in Barovia um, like similar architect architecture uh, looks a lot a lot less run down compared to the one in Barovia but other than that quite layout wise pretty much identical um, as you approach uh, everybody gets greeted by uh, a man in uh, like priest robes uh, and they all like shake his hand and get told to enter 
Uh, the man is accompanied by a uh, quite brutish looking uh, young man. Uh, so like, like barely an adult, maybe, maybe like, like 20 years of age or so. Um, as well as a younger boy um, that kind of guides everybody to their... Fucking punch the fuck out of my arm. That guides everybody to their seats and, and whatnot. And as you approach, uh, the priest kind of eyes you all up and down. And you don't seem to be from here. Are you here for uh, for the sermon of the night? We yeah. are. Not seen you. Yes. yes. Around Valaki before. Welcome. Welcome uh, to the Church of Saint Andrew. Um. It's, it's good to have you here. Hopefully, uh, you'll you'll find some respite in today's sermon. Uh, the name is Lucian Petrovich. We're the Petrovich. people who saved the kids. I did hear some word about some children being rescued from those hags at the Bone Grinder. Very good. Yeah. Well, in that case, um, thank you on behalf of town. Thank you very much for dealing with those pests. Um, they've been pestering not just Valaki but the entire area for longer than I can remember. It's about time somebody did something to them, so to stop them. Um, my name is Lucian Petrovich, uh, Father Petrovich, if you will. Um, feel free to go inside, have a seat. Um, the sermon will start in a few minutes once everybody's seated. Are there any seats near, like, right near the front? Okay. And Aranya wants to stay toward the back. Um, yeah, same. On the inside same. seating. I want to get right as fucking close to the front as I can, baby. <laughs> All right. No, I will enough. fucking, st I will stand <laughs> at the back. Okay. And as you uh, are all seated or standing or wherever it is that you want to be at to, to, you know, when the when the sermon begins, um, the lighting in here is as bright as they could have it. Uh, just from wall to wall, floor to ceiling, completely covered in, 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 in bright light. Um, and the, the priest, Father uh, Petrovich, kind of takes... Stands behind an altar at the head of the chapel and welcome everybody, welcome everyone. Come on, come all, be seated, feel safe. Uh, today's sermon, I would like to just go over exactly why we should feel blessed to live in a town like this, especially when the town like this finds itself in lands like these. I don't recall exactly how long ago feels like yesterday, when Andrew, not yet saint, picked up his mighty blade and took the fight to that oppressor Strahd in his castle. And we owe our safety to him ever since. On multiple occasions, he has stopped Strahd's forces from invading our beloved town, and has even taken the fight to Ravenloft, to various degrees of success. Struck down a few of his generals. But unfortunately, tragedy struck a few years into his battle. When he came home, returned to me personally, actually, and wasn't doing too well. Wounded. Barely, barely able to stand. I tried my best to heal him of his wounds, but to no avail. But upon his deathbed, he began muttering, almost chanting, and his blade, before then seemingly very mundane, just a, just a long sword, began to shine brighter than the lights in this room, and it expelled this, this burst of, 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 of yellowish light and energy, expelling all of the fog and nasty creatures residing within our town palisade, within our town walls. And has since protected us, even till this day. Protected the town from the, that magical fog from creeping in, from Strahd's forces from coming in. We owe all of our lives to St. Andrew. And everybody just kind of begins clapping and cheering and, and yeah, they're all very excited and happy. Unfortunately, the fight is not yet over and might not be over for many years to come. But do know that within Valaki, 
There is safety. There is comfort. There is warmth. The last bastion of hope against the darkness outside in Barovia. Nothing bad will happen to you on the inside of these town walls. As St. Andrew has blessed these grounds with his energy, with his light. And for many, many, many years since, nothing bad has happened within these walls. No vampires have crept around. No people have gone missing in the darkness. No oppressors have been able to step foot. Well, <laughs> don't count the Burgomaster, but he can't do very much on his own, can he? And the, that's exactly the reaction from some of the people like in, in the room as well. Um, so today, I just want to implore on you all one more time to feel lucky, to feel blessed, and feel safe in our town. In three days, we have our Festival of the Blazing Sun, another remnant of Andral's passing, a festival where we celebrate his life and his service to Valaki for many more years to come, because even in death, he does serve us, and he does protect us. And everybody just begins like, clapping, and and this kind of like goes on so, for, for a few more minutes. Yeah, um, I have a feeling that... <clears throat> We're going to take this fucking sword, go to kill Strahd, and by the time we come back, the whole town's going to be flattened. Like... Oh. Yeah, this sword's like... Well, space. then we'll get to keep it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so oh. that goes on for a few more minutes, and eventually uh, the sermon ends, and he just kind of like... The, the priest mingles with some of the people, and eventually... Um... um Lazarin, he approaches you and, mm. and couldn't help but uh, notice that you're wearing some religious iconography yourself. Uh, Joaquin, is it? That's it. That will be the, uh, my deity of choice, yes. Very good. It's uh, refreshing to see... Well, I don't know if I could call you a person of the cloth, but you know you know what I mean. Somebody a little more uh, knowledgeable on, on, you know, a I do follow her light. Very good. You uh, you and your friends. We don't get visitors often, so I'm sure you'll have been asked this question a few <laughs> times today already. But what is it? What what brought you to Falaki, if you don't mind me asking? A personal pilgrimage, as it were. We're um, as you see, not from these lands, but we're searching. And we have some gripes with Strahd as well. They're not... Don't we all? Well, yes. But we are exploring these lands. Um, well, don't, you know, given... I'll, I'll, I'd, it's been a while since I've had somebody with a bit more knowledge on, you know, clergies, as it were. And do you know... Why and what it is that's protecting our town from the darkness outside? I was going to ask you the very same thing, to be honest. Oh. Don't say the sword, don't say the sword. Mm -hmm. Andrew's bones are buried right here underneath the church. Thank God. And his bones protect um, the land. They've kind of turned it into holy ground, as it were. It's the reason the fog can't enter our limits. It's also the reason that, well, the only nastiness that enters town from the outside are just nasty people. Nothing to really do with Strahd himself. Um, I was about to, once everybody leaves, to go and downstairs into the crypt and pray for there, or at least, you know, show my, um, pay my respects as I do every day. Uh, would you like to accompany me? What's happening? More information on new religions is always welcomed. All right. Um, yeah, I'll come get you when uh, when 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 everybody leaves. Just, 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 you know. That's excellent. And he uh, uh, steps away from you that, and starts mingling with other people as well. So drawing his sort of 
sermon and doing that speech here, do I get the sense that he truly believes everything he is saying? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Is it hundred percent? Okay, yeah. Or is there like a this man is preaching like, yeah. with like he is fully committed. Yeah. Like he, he's, he's, even a, he's a believer. Well, I mean, he's fucking one of the apostles. Is about as close. Yeah, yeah. And as like, it could you, be. Get, you, you also was... get the sense from his story that like he knew him when he was still alive, and he was there kind of when he died, and he saw that, hey, man, he, that... he's selling this all from like oh, a like witness a... account. You know what I mean? Like he. This is like a somewhat recent thing. Well, well, like no. years wise, but like it's, it's like not it's like been over a thousand years, years, but then again, time is a bit oh. weird, wonky down here, right? Uh, as we established. Mm -hmm. Also, um, like, there goes there goes my theory, lol. What? <laughs> What's uh, your theory? <laughs> no, I thought he was the actual saint. Mm. At this, at this harboring um, little theory that he was never died. Well, I mean, maybe, but, uh, but could still be true. But... No, it could be, but <laughs> but the whole the whole bones under the uh yeah. really really kind of puts <laughs> a whole hole in that. It could be. Could be However, a, yeah, it could be anybody. True. Yeah, true. It still just put a hole in that. Could be Jack from next door. In his bro. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't him. I lied. No, it was just some random person. <laughs> Sorry. Be quite dead. It just comes all collapsing down in like, Yeah, oh! eventually uh, everybody leaves, and you all see the the priest like walking up to Elazar again. Um, but everybody else is slowly leaving, and 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 uh, Father Petrovich approaches you, Elazar, and uh, might I ask uh, your name? Oh, um, I am Elazar and Julius Vinod Dunbar. That is a lot of names. Uh, will Laszlo Elazar Bain. will do. Will Elazar do? That would be perfect. Right. Uh, your friends would they want to accompany us as well, or I'm called back? You guys want to see some bones? <laughs> Um, I think I'm good. I'm going to go back to the tavern. I'm just gonna help out the father with some clerical duties. So, do you guys want to go back? That's cool. Aranya will walk up, not saying anything, but just to join. Hell yeah. Okay. I suppose it can't hurt, right? I might as well tag along. Yeah, I'm really hoping the whole Joyce and Bones thing was gonna go to fuck off. I suppose I'll old man meander through town back. Okay. So who is accompanying? It uh, so it's it's Elazar and Davian and Aranya that are going to be. Uh, oh yeah. 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 So the cleric um, or the priest, Father Father Petrovich, he um, pushes the altar that he was standing behind aside and reveals like a latch in the floor and opens it and there's a ladder that goes down. And he, uh, and downstairs as well, like, it's, it's bright as hell. There's, there's never, there's never no light within this entire building. Kind of, they're, they're, they're shtick, I suppose. Is um, it magical? The lamplight? Uh, well, looking around here, you can see that there are a bunch of candles and torches, but it does, it definitely seems that there's more light than those should give off, yeah. Definitely seems to be amplified in, in some way. And it, I don't know. Like, are they, are they showing like wear and tear? Like, are they are the candles burning down? Are they like dripping wax? They look like because no. the man must spend half his days maintaining no. the fucking like, it candles. Seems and very right, much okay. That's, um, this is magical Definitely light, little... just made to look more mundane yeah. than it actually is. Okay. Uh, and as you go downstairs, uh, you know, you follow him down. Uh, you're in this, uh, you're in this crypt, um, roughly, you know, like, like, or like a square crypt of like 20 feet, uh, you know, 20 by 20 by 20 by 20, you know what I mean? Like a 20 foot square, whatever. Um, and in the middle of this room is this, uh, it's like stone coffin, sarcophagus, and he... Tomb. Tomb, yeah, and he opens the lid, and you hear him gasp. Oh, and as he does that, sake. the lights kind of begin to flicker. Oh, for fuck's sake! And he Hand drops, a short and he, bow, and he drops to his knees, and just begins panicking. We're doomed. Oh, what's the matter? We're doomed. We're doomed. Do I see? 
anything indicating a break in. Or uh, as he says, they're gone. Uh, you'll you can you can like oh, if you bother no. to look, you can see that the sarcophagus is empty. Oh no no no! I don't I don't understand. They were here last they were here last night. I I come down here every night. Nobody should even know that these. Bo I don't. There's only a few people that n n know. I, and he just begins to fully like he's panicking. He is losing his shit. So like no trail or or like obvious I signs. I will of break make, a, make a uh, make a um, make an investigation check, Karanya. Ugh, only a ten. Not as far as you can tell. No. I will like using a higher spell slot to cast this, but it doesn't do anything. It's just so I can actually fucking cast the spell. Mm -hmm. Um, cast see invisibility. Okay. And just fuck it and like see if there's fucking anything weird. Uh, no. The only people in this room are uh, Father Petrovich mm. and you three. Nothing, nothing, no other, like, you can say, or it's just looking for some shit going down. If there's any, like, marks. Dude, you markings. gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Markings on the, like, it, like, come on. Coffin, exactly. Like, if it's being messed with in any way. Mm, yeah, if you want to investigate it as well, you can make an investigation check. Mm -hmm. See if you can beat a oh, 10. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh, dirty 20. Oh, there we go. That does be the 10. Um, you do spot in the dust on the floor, uh, some footprints that seemingly don't belong to any of you because they're a little smaller. Um, let me get a look at those footprints, chief. And I will call over Devin almost as if. Them. Definitely like, like you like shoes, but just very small, almost as if they would belong to a child. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck does that look like? About? Jesus Christ! How just... is the like Samantha mist and fog and stuff? <laughs> looking? I'm not touching things that don't belong to you. <laughs> Was that uh, Briar? How is like the mist and the fog and everything? How is that looking from where we're at? Like, is there a window where I could see outside? If we're on the ground. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that you are on yeah, the ground, but if you go back, if you go back up, up as of now, it's still fine. Um, you, it's kind of like you're somewhat religious with the whole Raven Queen thing. I'll, I'll say that you know this. This this ground was was it ha is it hallowed ground? Hallowed ground. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, removing the 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 thing that made it hallowed doesn't immediately right turn it fucked up but it's something like you know the longer it's gone the more the easier it will be for evil to creep in kind of thing can i get a little look at these footprints yeah i'll call devin over to have a look at them okay. yeah make a um, make a survival check what i was hoping for <laughs> america's ass come through <laughs> 16 these definitely are are like children sized shoes or boots um, Would I be able to discern if they were children's or a smaller beings, like a halfling or a gnome? Yes. Um, or a dwarf. This is definitely uh, a, like a human humanoid child. Um, I hate that. I hate that. And the only mm. child you've seen running around the church oh. was the altar boy that helps everybody to their seats. So that he would be on your primary suspect list, I guess, because he's the only one that you've seen in the Did vicinity of the church that could have possibly known that, that you know, that has been in the church, being that he's an altar boy. Yeah. Might know of this or has seen the priest go down here when he was not supposed to. So that kind of... Clearly, yeah. the bones have disappeared in the last 24 hours. That, do yeah. the do the footprints lead anywhere or is it just like there's oh there's a few here and there and like dust on the floor and uh, it's not like there's a to and from the ladder they lead deeper in or to, to and from the ladder uh, pretty much you know went in took I the will... bones and went out also go up to the phone like who knows about these it's just, well, well well just me and whenever a, a, someone like you a religious person that I know is you know of a certain uh, you know practices religion quite actively I'll, I'll kind of as a courtesy uh, invite them down here but you're the first one in years who's um who's the altar boy and where does he where does he live uh Milivoj? he he um oh, well, he really? lives 
in here with me. We we have rooms at the uh, at, near the entrance to the church. He lives here. He doesn't he doesn't have any parents, and I kind of took him in. Um, as uh, he was an orphan, and I didn't want to send him off to an orphanage, so I took him in and raised him as my own, or am raising him as my would own. Would you take him in? Would you take him in from? How long has he been here? Uh, his parents died. I'm not exactly sure. I think he was five or six years old when I took him in, and he's about 14, 15 now. So he didn't appear to be under the dark influence of uh, some no, 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 distress. No, 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 no. How long has the Burgermeister been here? Years. Years. More than 10 years is what I'm getting. Is what I'm... Oh, Probably yes. The whole time. Forever, pretty much. Well... Burgermaster was um, here when Andrew was still alive. And has been here since. So. Unless unless we're dealing with a... Uh, a shapeshifter. Oh, which is horrible. could this be is... possible. It seems like the prime suspect would be... Milovich. M Milovich. Dude, the fucking Strahd naming conventions are either either super Dutch or super like Eastern European. <laughs> Transylvanian yeah. type yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we want well, to check him out? Okay. I, I don't understand. And he kind of like tries and collects his thoughts and, and kind of like he's still on his knees by the by the sarcophagus and Milovich. A few days ago. He, he approached me and, well, we got in an argument and said that we should be doing more to, to, to fight and should be more like St. Andrew and be more active a part in the fight against Strahd and I, I told him we couldn't. The best we can do is keep the people safe in our town and and then and, and that, and that, you know, we have means of doing that, but there's nothing for us in an actual fight and got upset and he went to his room and ignored me for a few days. Today was actually the first day since he spoke to me again. I, I didn't really think much of it, but I really think... How was his mood today? Did he seem in a better mood? In a... Slightly, quieter? yes. Like, he, he spoke to me again after ignoring me for a few days after our argument. Children his do room? stupid things when they're desperate. He, he kept on saying, like, oh... Wanting to feed the, the, the town more and, and wanting to help. and I, 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 I never thought... I, I didn't even know he knew about this place. If it is him. I... If it's not for me to find him too, if anything, we can get him off of our suspect list. Where are his rooms? Uh, if, you're, if, you know, if you're heading towards the entry of the chapel, it's the first door on your left coming, coming, coming from our side. So. I will... Facing the chapel entry, yeah, so first of all. I will again put a sort of like soft hand on his don't, shoulder. Don't, don't, please don't like harm him or scare him. I'm sure no, we... if it was him, they have good reason. I just don't. I don't We're know why he would do this, but children. keep in mind he is just a child. Okay, well, Aranya's uh, uh, not. Uh, <laughs> I uh, saw uh, that uh, look, though. <laughs> I promise you this, we will find, <laughs> we will find these artifacts, we have these bones of such religious importance, no harm come to people that you care about, we'll get them back. Okay. And I'm just gonna fucking, oh, the f <laughs> All right. I'm all gonna hustle on. <laughs> Alright, um, Go. yeah, you all accompany Elasrin? Mm -hmm. Going straight yeah. running. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As you head towards the uh, the door that he he mentioned to you, uh, you can. It's 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 not closed. It oh it's open, kind of like at a crack, and you can hear some shuffling around in the room, and um, kind of I like will a chair moving. Do a polite knock on the door and go hello. Hello. Yeah, sorry, the father sent for you. Um, can I come in? Yeah, I suppose. Who are you? Oh, uh, the clergy of uh, Joaquin. Um, I was having discussions. I don't think I know that the, one. Uh, the Golden Lady, uh, Goddess of Joaquin Co Phoenix? That's not important right now. Well, I, I'll give you the rundown later. 
Um, and I'll walk into the room. Um, yeah, and as you can see, this room it's it's pretty small. There's a bed uh, near a window. Uh, there's there's a small, excuse me, like a small table with some books on it and a chair, and um, that's pretty much it. There, there, there much you it. say a bed near a window? Yes. What's outside the window? Uh, this window looks out uh, uh, into like onto the cemetery, the church. The cemetery, you say? Mm -hmm. Besides some bones. <laughs> um, while the clergyman uh, is is whatever entertaining the child. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to. I would like to go out to okay. the cemetery and look around for footprints by said window. Okay, make a survival check. Laura, I'm using your fucking dice, right? Oh dear, the pressure. Twenty-three. Hey, exciting. So Natty seventeen. Yeah, you see mm -hmm. some footprints. Um, about half a day old, matching the size of the prints in the in the crypt. Heading will, uh, uh, heading into town, but you know not going over the path. This is a very peculiar way to head into town from here. You know, it's, it's yeah. a bit weird. It's a bit strange. Yeah. I will. Uh... <laughs> Where was Aranya? Uh, still with Lazarin, but like backed off a little bit so that I'm not just like hovering in the conversation. Um, I'm just kind of leaning against the wall of the hallway, or if there's like a railing from because it's upstairs. You said, or just back in like the you the you went down a ladder to go to the crypt, so you're back on like the main ground floor. Oh, yeah, okay. on the ground. So floor. yeah, just yeah. whatever wall is near the door, yeah. um, in case the kid tries to bolt or anything. Um, Aranya's uh, just kind of casually chilling. I don't know if I want to leave a last. Uh, meanwhile, inside the uh, conversation kind of keeps going. Is your friend, um, and he kind of looks at you, Aranya. You worship the Raven Queen. I do. Ow, that's cool. I know, I know, I know her. You know her. Well, I know. Of her, right? I don't. I've never met or anything, but oh. you know, don't know Joaquin, but I know the Raven Queen, of course. Okay. Yeah, right, the Lazarus. <laughs> and it's a new god. What do you What do you think about the Raven Queen? It's cool. Um, you know, with, with the whole death thing, and um, well, the whole death thing in the sense of like you know, making sure that. People don't meddle it with, with it, it tamper with it, and, you know, naturally that kind of comes with, you know, putting up a fight against the oppressor, Strahd. Uh, mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, and he kind of, like, starts thinking, and he, he you can tell that he's, you know, about to say something, but kind of, like, bites his tongue and holds back. She's cool. She's gonna... She's, she's cool. They're gonna take a step a little closer to the doorway, and just very slightly lean down as if they're trying to tower <laughs> um, a little bit and ask and oh. what do you know about how she feels about necromancy? Bad. Well, it's not bad but it's bad if I think it's something along the lines of necromancy is okay if it wasn't the person's like time to die or whatever and it's bad if it was their time and they're being bought back. Right? Is that it? Along those lines, if you consider resurrection to be necromancy, yes. Um, I think can so. Can I insight check right? him I mean, and see... You're paying something back from the dead. It sounds quite necromantic to me. That's a good thing. I did not go... Briar agrees. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> uh, can I insight check him and just see if, like, he, there's any hint of guilt or nervousness, <laughs> like at the mention of necromancy? I'm, I'm dying. Don't die, please. Oh fuck! Real quick, given how brightly lit the inside of this church is, can I see that Aranya has entered the room 
from the outside of the yeah, window. You can probably, yeah, like, I'm window, not going to be like you fucking can look, war, You can look through the window and it's pretty pretty clear. Yeah. You know? That's a 16. I will, once they enter the room, I'm just going to start following the footprints. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Um, you're all 16, uh, Briar? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you can tell that he. There's some there's some nervousness there, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is um, n not necessarily specifically about necromancy, but more in the right. sense of um, just overall nerves. Okay, so like, does he seems think, a bit on edge? Do I feel like he thinks he's been caught? Like, are we looking in the right direction, kind of deal, or? Is he just nervous because stranger looming over him? You're not quite sure. Okay. I'll just kind of gauge the rest did, of did things you say, based uh, on how the uh, goes. Father Petrovich needed me because I'll need to go then. Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh, I, go. I was funny lying about that. Um, you can't. What? I just mean to get your attention. Um, <laughs> don't you get bored of his like speeches? Sometimes, yeah. I, it just, it's just a lot of Probably the same. Heard all right, and once, once you've heard one, you've heard them all. Not really any, you know, action, is there, in the world? But you've heard them a few times. Tell me about it. Yeah, I, I... Make a... Make a persuasion check. What? Okay, let's make the fucking persuasion. Actually, not that bad. Okay. Ah, oh, God, what dice? This is important. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, no. Persuasion. Mm -hmm. It's a massive nine, baby. Well, I mean, it's you know he tells all these stories about Saint Andrew and about how he protected this town and fought Strad, and we're all just here sitting on our ass doing nothing. I mean, hell of a role model, right? Like. Yeah, exactly. Great hero, great saint. And, well, it's just, you know, people are hungry. There's not much food going around. Mm. There's a lack of money coming into the town because of that. And um, I just feel like we could do more, you know? Yeah, as a man of the faith, you want to help as many people as you can, yeah, I have, right? I, you know, I... Do anything to help them. I have some friends in town that have, have, have not eaten days and... I feel like we're all just kind of sitting here talking about this this Saint Andrew. But our town isn't saved. There's still so much to do. Can you like go weird like to a weird place at all, like randomly? What? Like the father? He like hide away sometimes? Well, I um I don't know. So, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> well, my passive insight being a twenty-one, and this kid very obviously lying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's pretty shit. Yeah, but what a yeah. weird question. Does the, does the father have a hideaway, a little secret place sometimes? <laughs> like what? What are you talking about? Does he ever go to a little secret hidey hole? Hey man, like, this what? is a kid who lives with him, right? And apparently shouldn't know where these bones are. He, this kid fucking knows, but I'm just trying to get him to say it. <laughs> it's like. He's well, like, I don't know. Um, he just, you know, he has his bedroom. Where I don't really go. Yeah. <laughs> I just sort of stare him down a little bit for a second. Make a, make a charisma check, dude. <laughs> Great charisma. That's eighteen. I'm fucking more fire, yeah, can I? Kind of looks at you and then looks at Aranya, who's also still kind of just like, <laughs> sort of like semi looming, looming. over him. <laughs> Well, and there is the crypt under chapel that I suppose to know of. Mm -hmm. With, um, you know, the bones of St. Andrew that I'm not supposed to know. <laughs> Those bones that recently gone missing, you know. Looking at his feet, are they? could they have made the footprints that are downstairs? Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of looks around and... I... I just there's people starving and 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 I I was talking to somebody and 
he was talking about uh, religious artifacts and wanting to pay a lot of money and I was uh, with this money I could buy food for people so I took the bones and I sold them from. and I used the money to buy food for my friends I'm sorry you sold them oh no yes who did you, oh, sell, who did you sell them to and where did they go uh, hold. What? <laughs> I um sold him to uh to Jeska. Uh, no, Jeska told me I sold him to Henrik, the coffin maker. Right, and where does Henrik live? Has uh, he gone out of town recently? He has a, his coffin shop at the in the east of town. I just did it because I did. I wanted to help my friends and feed them. And... I'll just go like, Shh, your heart is in the right place, child. However, you've done something very, very foolish. However, you've done fucked up. Think of repent, a, <laughs> repent, <laughs> repent on yourself and think about think about what you've done here and the great consequences. Repent consequence. on yourself. You really got to um, work on your religious <laughs> vernacular. <laughs> Hey man, Eleven doesn't really know religion that well, dude. He just kind of did it for a bit, alright? It's not his real, like, <laughs> okay, dude. This is fucking... Uh, you're not here, you fuck yourself. You know, Duke, while it's happening, you follow the prince, and eventually... Uh... They take you, uh... About, like... Uh, let's say, let's say, like, three quarters of a mile. Pretty much to the other side of town. Uh, uh -huh. Going through some like alleyways and stuff until you kind of follow them and see an uninviting two-story building with a sign shaped like a coffin above the front door. All the window shutters are closed up tight, and there is a just a deathly silence surrounding the establishment. <laughs> Don't love that. Don't love that. Don't love the coffin shop. <laughs> um, I mean, all it's the window shutters are closed. To be in, in Barovia. <laughs> Did you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably not even the only one in town. But you also get broken open, right? If they're undead, so like, true. Have to replace them. Yeah. <clears throat> or, or is this branding like really strong coffins that won't be broken out of? You know, escape room coffins. The iron. Coffin. <laughs> Fuck around. Is uh, okay. All the shutters are closed, so I would feel mm, unobserved if I were to take a little walk around the place, maybe sort of case a little bit, kind of get an idea. Doors, windows, balconies, cellars, you, you know. Dog. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know. Off the leash, though, in a town. Oh, people would be so mad. <laughs> Um, there is two entryways, uh, one being the main door, uh, like just the main front door, and then you also see a door on the eastern side of the building, but again, uh, all the windows surrounding the building completely, like, you know, shut and, and shutters on the inside, there's no way for you to really look inside, uh, the doors are quite, uh, bulky. Uh, other than that, it just you know, it's just a building surrounded by other buildings in this town. There's not really much to it. Ah, uh, I feel like I'm setting a bad example if I try and do this, like do some shit on my own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you ever get that? Um. Is there a porch? Uh, no, it's just front door inside. There's no just room. front door. Yeah. Can I try the door handle? Uh, locked. Is there like a little sign in the window that says closed? There's no sign that says closed. Would you get the impression that it's closed? <laughs> <laughs> but he could pretend not to have that impression. Yeah. <laughs> I will tell Onu to play dead <laughs> in front of the door. Okay. 
and Oli, I will Oli not. just kind of like keels over. <laughs> yeah, and I will, I will, like, holding one of Onu's back legs, <laughs> as if I was dragging him, as if I was, I had to. Like... I just... no. That's a good point. That's a good point. I could have been carrying him the whole time. <laughs> no, continue. I will carry Onu <laughs> as he's playing dead. And I will knock on the door. Firmly. We're closed! Go away! My dog! I just <laughs> need a small coffin for my dog. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. Make, uh, make a... Uh, <laughs> make a deception check. Meanwhile, Cassidar is back at the the. At yeah, some point, Jax will have joined like, you as well. At some point, Jax has also like come back. Uh, what did you say? Deception. Deception. Yeah. Twenty-two. Hey. You can hear a lock open, and he pushes the door the door forward like two inches, and kind of like peers his, peeks his eye out. Looks like, looks you up and down. He was my best friend. Does it have to be now? Can it not be tomorrow? Business hours? I'm sure it'll only be quick. I'm sure it'll only be quick. I just... I can't, I can't bear to leave a bit like this. I... Can it please be tomorrow? I'm a, I'm a little busy, you see? Just... I'll, I'll give you two platinum. All right, make it quick. And he opens the door and invites you in. I will follow him in. Mm -hmm. And I just want to—I just want a quick vibe check. What's going on in the place? Uh, the room you're What's in. What's he so busy with? Uh, the room you're in—it's—it's it's like a, a a fifteen by thirty-five foot room. Uh, there's some okay. like uh. Some like workbenches, some like semi-finished coffins, uh, and then there's a door that leads out of this room, like on the right-hand wall, like about twenty feet up the wall. Um, any sign? Any sign of other like other people having been in the in the place? Do I get the feeling he's alone? Uh, make a perception check. It's oh, really good. Twenty-five. Uh, you're definitely alone in this room. Obviously, you don't know the rest of the building. Oh god. Um Take him out. <laughs> the guys back at the church know, but I don't know that they know. Well, Correct. Say so, well this is going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the I door. would have I mean I would have gone to Ryan's like Ranya <laughs> Go to the um, coffee shop. Javin's probably gone there. I'm gonna get the guys from the bar. We gotta get these bones back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll so I, well, I I I can't know that that's happening. No, I have to no, act no, as no. if I don't know that that's it's happening. Just, uh... But my plan, <clears throat> I'll come yes. through the door behind him. Okay. Okay. Slowly. And when he is twenty feet away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, what's about to happen? Oh my god. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna set Onu down on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I'm Sick gonna throw him. the Iron Band to Bellharo at him. Yes! Hey! That's actually not Don't a attack. bad idea. Come on. Come, bro. Oh, not it, warning coming. 16 plus oh, yeah. 19 hey! to hit. He just has, you know, commoner stat block, so he's freaking. You, <laughs> yeah. you capture him, he drops to the ground. <laughs> All right, all right, Onu all right. Fucking please, please don't hurt me. Please up and just charges please over and like please stands don't, over him and don't. growls. What is this just about? Push, push the door shut. Where are the where are the bones? Where are the bones? You'll hear us. <laughs> oh. I will walk over and quietly. Who, who will hear us? I'm upstairs. Who's it's upstairs? A it's a long story. It's not that long, is it? You're trying to sell the bones, aren't you? What? 
It's a bit more complicated than that. I, I can explain. I, 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 just not here. Take me to... I'll, I'll take me to the tavern. Talk there. Safe there. Can I pick him up? How big is he? I mean, he's just like... like not quite elderly, but definitely like late fifties, early sixties man, looking not looking I will, like, very nourished or anything. How uh, far oh, into this? Oh, just just come, come um, talk. Oh, okay. I'd say that Aranya probably arrives <laughs> towards the end of this, and like as Davian, I guess, is start you know after this whole spiel, as Davian begins to like carry the guy outside. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm playing it up. I'm just gonna be like, what if I go along with it? And like, Onu will like <laughs> grab onto his like little pants leg or something, and I'll drag him and just be like, oh, just one drink oh, for my poor boy, just just before we put him in the ground, and slowly drag the guy up, <laughs> Tori, pull it close by him. Oh my me. god! All right, one drink. And... <laughs> it's just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as I'm dragging him out, and as you as you drag him out, you can see Aranya approaching uh, from from a from a nearby alleyway. And Aranya, you can see you see this before, you see Davin just like dragging this older man, not quite old old, but you know like older mm. older than us. man, gray hair, tied up in the bands of Bolaro. <laughs> yeah, uh, Aranya is very confused, but they will just meet up. Uh, what's what's going on here? Oh my god, did your dog die? No. no. <laughs> to be clear, Oni was helping me drag the guy out of the building. Oh, he's so helping? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Was this? <laughs> what can we... <laughs> Very briefly, yes. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, no, uh, though. Uh, we, uh, we're just you. going... We're just going down for a drink, aren't we? We're just going to... Drink. And I will speak the fucking command word, and the bind the bands of Bilara are like back yeah. the door ball. Feel like get up. Yes, we're going for a drink. Because my poor dog. <laughs> my poor dog. Fuck. No. Oh. Oh yes, Where's poor Elijah? dog. Uh, he's still back with the boy, I guess. Oh no, sorry. He's going to get. He's going to get. Uh. The rest of our people. Well, for is you, it. basically. And I will, um, with a hand crossbow, sort of like one arm over the guy's shoulder, hand crossbow kind of against his side, just like There's walk no him that. down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. Crossbows are notoriously known for not going off when you when you bump them. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he'll believer, accompany you it? to the tavern. He won't. He he's not putting up a fight. So, yeah. What's your name? Henrik. Henrik. Well, Henrik von der Voort doesn't get much Dutch. Oh, than this. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't get much more Dutch than this, guys. Ronald. <laughs> I suppose that there's going to be a few of us have a few questions for you there, Henrik. Um, or you'll probably find yourself in a world of pain. So. Prefer not to. that out already. And uh, I'll just sort of lead him can, into the tavern, I guess. I can explain, I promise. You, I, I guarantee you would have done the same in my position. Uh, at that point, oh, well. Lazen, did you say you were going to go to the tavern and get, get the boys? I'm, I'm like, I'm running to the tavern. <laughs> As you I kind will. of like gather up the boys uh, and yeah. you're like ready to go out, yeah. these two accompanied by... Uh, this older man entered a tavern and uh, the barkeep kind of <coughs> Henrik <laughs> nods hello <laughs> oh, he second says it's Henrik I go Henrik by the pants like what bones <laughs> <laughs> Jesus I've been over this with your friend just just find some quieter talk yeah 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 he can explain he can explain that's what they are again why Apparently, did he just tell me the fuck they are this, the barkeep looks over this you all right yep no. everything's just dandy just empty what's the fucking bones <laughs> you... take it outside Don't if you're gonna start a fight please chill. apparently there's some pretty 
scary. Oh, well, I wouldn't know that. Never mind. Is if, there if there's you still know that there's scary people involved. Talk in, in some semblance of privacy, please. If there's still wine left on the table, I'm just From gonna. From tell. I'm gonna mage hand some over to a Lazar and be like, "You need to calm down." <laughs> From what I can tell, we can not trust. Drink we, we, we can trust the bar, the the, the bar star, uh, no. as this much as anyone. So. All right, I was traveling back here from Barovia uh, several months ago. I got visited by, well, visited by Strahd, who I didn't know was Strahd at the time. He was imposing, you know, disguised as, as this well-dressed nobleman. He told me his name was Vasily von Holtz, and... How, how long he, ago? What a several name months, I'm not exactly sure. Months that ago. is a real mishmash of Eastern European and Dutch. <laughs> it really is. Uh, and he promised me good business in exchange for my help, and obviously, you know times being as dire as they are. Good business, sure. And Good business uh, for a coffin shop sounds like bad business for anyone. Well, people die. I don't kill them. Yeah, but someone promised you, oh, oh good business with a coffin shop. It sounds like uh, they're about I to just, kill a lot of people. I just figured he'd meant like, oh, I don't know, nearby town, uh, coffin, uh, the oh, girls, yeah, okay. you know. The anyway. Um, <clears throat> a few, you know, yeah, we, I met up with, with, with him um, a handful of times since, and well, once I realized what was going on, it was already too late. I, and at that point, it was, you know, die or help him. My workshop has become sort of a lair. Um, there's a group of adventurers that 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 um, attempted to, to kill Strad not too long ago. Well, let's just say that the working for him now got a, a nice new set of fangs and an appetite for blood, mm. and they wanted me to to take the bones so that they could strike. So I I, I bought the bones from the boy at the church who. You know, wanted to, I don't know, he wanted to feed his friends or whatever, so well, I'll buy the bones. And I, um, well, I, I still have the bones. They're in my workshop. Um, they're, they're being taken out of town soon. And once they're out of town, uh, Stroud is planning an attack to coincide with the festival in three days. But they can only enter town in such force once the bones are out, which is why I'm supposed to transport the bones out tonight, actually. So you knowingly dooming the entire town. Yeah, your business is about to get real good. I did the hindsight, yes. I realized that I should have thought twice about the... You also know you live here as well. I I'm assuming he he understand and spared. once I realized the gravity of the situation, it was already too late. Where are the bones? In his workshop. In my workshop. Like, yeah, exactly where, like, are the... Your new friends, are they with the bones? Or are they just separate? And did they say they're gonna follow you out with them? Let me quickly check my notes. <laughs> to see this is also pretty are. rough, because we're pretty tapped. And if we have to fight these people to get these bones not to leave tonight... <laughs> Yeah. Yep. This is rough. Oh, we're the best. We're the Do best. Do you have any long rest potions? <laughs> right? Nope. I'm. I have no fucking clue what's going on at this point. It's. They're, in, they're in my bedroom wardrobe right now. Oh, are they in my bedroom? You know are, the, are your new friends in your bedroom? Um. Look at the map of this fucking place real quick. Hold on. Um. No. Um. What? They. They are. They have a nest uh, in in the building as well, but not in my bedroom. I would suggest, if you can, get the fucking bones, put them back to where they belong. We'll deal with it later. I I, I don't know if you missed the part of Lazard where he has apparently a group of 
angry vampires like living in the house so not in the bedroom away, no. they'll be but like hey, they don't, the no fuck? but they're not there he can just take the bones they are there he said they're in his house not house, in his not bedroom. bedroom not his bedroom well, he can just be going to bed I don't own the house anymore the they're in doing. charge all right i have to explain the fact that i'm out here right now i'm going to get shit for when i get back yeah it's well, not that easy elazard so do we just I'm... sneak in and he kind of just like, to get like, bones. like reveals his neck. Why are we getting bones? Several like markings of oh, him being oh, like, fed that... on. Oh boy! Because those bones are a holy relic that uh, has made this all hallowed ground and is protecting this entire town from Strahd. So if you don't want the blood of uh, loads of innocent eyes on your hands, staring directly at Heinrich. <laughs> that's Henrik. Just... Henrik. Henrik. What yeah. closest? So the closer we, so I could go get these things, but they're probably gonna make me feel like shit. So that's fun. Uh, you know what we could all do. I don't think there's anyone going to get them. You have to fight. Can, no, we can get them from the outside, quite easily, because I can make a door into the room from the outside. That's a good idea. That's and then we idea. can go in, get the bones, get out, get it into the fucking church, defend these bones, and kill some vampires tomorrow. Oh, to I like this plan. Hear me, me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Stay at the me out. tavern. Hear me out. We're gonna stay in the tavern. So. I'm just the boat. What what Brooks has said, this tavern seems to be the most difficult place in the entire town. Uh, oh, if a little boy can steal the bones from the fucking crypt, maybe we don't put right, them back in the crypt. Him we lock them in the room in a tavern. Have a little. Yeah, there's secret rooms here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Just yes. yes. So um, stick with the door plan. Plus, whatever you owners. Come back. Here. I... The plan is get the bones, come back to the pub, and wait for us to all blow over. Yes. Right. <laughs> okay. Counterpoint, though, like. Sure, a little boy could steal the bones if. What? Oh, regardless. A little, can, a little boy stole the bones. Go, can vampires go into church? Oh no. Well, they might be able to. They're in the same the building as the holiest bones in the realm, so I don't think they well, have much are, of a problem. These are not full anything fledged. Like that. They're, they're still. The only reason they're able to right. be here is because they're still in the process of turning properly. So there's still some semblance of what's. The so church probably wouldn't bother them. So. Um, which is why, which is why I, I was supposed oh. to get rid of the bones as fast as possible, so that the their their friends, the real <clears throat> vampires, can come into town in three days and kill everybody. If the bones are still. Oh, no, no. So when are the bones supposed to move? Tonight. 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 By who's supposed to move them? Me. Him Here. and the vampires. Or else. How are you? Have they told you how to move them? Yes. Or do they I... not? Oh, Put them in a coffin, load the coffin in a cart, and take the cart out of the town limits. So if we were to say, I don't know, to, to cause such a disturbance that the, the, the guards decide that nobody goes in or out until tomorrow... Well, they'd that normally do that mind, anyway, but... but given the nature of my job, I, I, I tend to leave town during all times of day as well, so they tend to kind of let me out anyway. Mm -hmm. So realistically, uh, as long as we keep you here, they can't take the fucking bones out anyway. So we could just keep you here and rest and then go get them tomorrow. No, I because still don't feel don't, comfortable with the idea of leaving the bones. We need the bones. We need the bones. <laughs> Plus, it sounds stand. like a Lazarus plan is pretty, like, not to jinx it, I'll knock on the table, like, the wood. But, like, that's a pretty decent plan because we can, like, a door directly up there from a distance yeah. outside. Oh, we and out. Did you just gonna like, construct a door? This guy. How's that gonna work? Yes. Yes. Not your problem. You've done it. I'm just saying that this fight, if it go, if this plan goes wrong, a lot of us are not in the best condition. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. We'll right. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong, but... <laughs> It will be fine. It's, it's not like bone. we can wait even if we want to because it's they're yeah. moving them tonight. I, I, I fucking is, love it. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> Hinge the Lazarus okay. something else. <laughs> Frank, Frank think, like I Brooks, I, I appreciate I appreciate the sentiment, but let's face it, we don't know what the adventurers that are in there are capable of. They might just circumvent him entirely. They might be able to teleport or fly. They might do magic. They're a group of adventurers just like we are. So we don't know. I don't like the idea of the bones being... Any of them? Uh, unknown and, and in the possession of these guys. I, I like the idea of just trying to sneak the bones out. I'm going to be very under self aware right now. Mm -hmm. This is very much outside of my wheelhouse, so you guys figure it out. I'm going to go get another drink and then you nope, just tell no me drink. what we're doing. <laughs> no, 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 drinking. No drinking for him's good. Drinking makes him feel better. Yeah, drinking's. 
He literally, Honestly, he literally, you, you could see him, he drank alcohol before wounds close up. Like, he's the one person we should allow to keep drinking right now. Not right now. <laughs> that's actually because of this thing, and I'll hold up the necklace. But... Well, either way, it's that's your thing, so it's fine. Sounds, um, yeah, I mean, see, right, still seems good to me. Here's the plan. We go in, get the bones, hope to God they don't find out what's there, come back to here with the bones, defend the shit out of this place for a bit, until, like, tomorrow to all rest up, you know, yeah. continuous watches, then we kill some fucking vampires tomorrow. Right. Yes, Jax? I uh, also think we should have our new friend here, uh, guarded, perhaps, overnight? Maybe by we... our other new I don't friend. sleep, he can stay with me. Excellent. I just, I'm we can tie him to a chair and then, yeah, the dog can come on him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Do, do, do you understand? The moment you do what you do, the bones are gone. I'll be dead as soon as they see me anyway, so I'd rather just stay here in the I confines of this tavern. I you. This is great. I guys, would, I've guys, not leave. And I don't trust that they wouldn't, for some reason, come to try and get you. Hold on. Jack. Jack's had an idea, I think. Or a question. Oh, it was more to question. That too. Well, if the bones consecrate the town, in a sense, mm -hmm. then how did the vampires get in? Well, they're not, they're they're not quite proper fledged. They're still, vampires. They're, they're still transitioning, which is why I guess some semblance of the humanity they had in them is still in there, kind of allowing them to be on the inside long enough to get rid of the bones, and then, you know, the real... The Eel, bones can ward off the big baddies, but they're not strong enough yet to ward off the little baddies. These are yeah, little the, baddies. The, 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 as long as there's still some semblance of humanity left in them, it doesn't work. Because they're still, you know, they're not fully transformed into vampires. Yeah, it is. Kind of in this weird space between... Was that mm -hmm. Bill? The human side isn't dead yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah they're like Dagon for real. <laughs> but yeah, it's also the similar similarly why Daigon is able to roam around this town mm -hmm. because like even though yeah. she's undead, I'm undead but there's I'm not... still some humanity there kind of <laughs> you know what I mean it's got pretty actually pretty much the exact same reason why Daigon isn't affected actually, by, by this shit can you imagine if we only... got here we coming in all of a sudden boom I hit this invisible barrier and I'm like what the <laughs> <laughs> and they're just question unstoppable force immovable object what if Kess went into town but over 150 feet would that supersede let's and, just like, not think about that guys. let's just not think about I'm what so could intrigued. happen right? you know, what happens is it, you, it's the heat death of the universe and it just <laughs> into itself black hole just, <laughs> yeah just inst instant oh, no hole. I think at that point it would probably be what is what what is it that causes you to become like paralyzed or whatever? I, know, I think it's exactly you know it's, it's as if the, the, the link would have been broken, so you would have to find oh, something yeah. else to tie to. That's yeah, I would have I would have yeah. been really bond to something else. That's yeah. right. Anyways, I digress. My apologies. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> How long could we delay this? What well, this plan? The bones. Yeah, well, I, I, at I most like an hour. Could, that would be perfect. Oh, are you trying to short rest? <laughs> Um, I need to tinker, but oh god! Oh, Before we do any of this, I mean, a short rest couldn't hurt though. Yeah. Before we do any of this, I need to um go tell the uh, the priest, go tell the father. Before though, we um, do any of this, we need to maybe tell the people start. whose fucking home we're bringing the important shit into. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been listening. I, I assume they're privy to the I've most. Been, I've yeah, been the whole conversation. Okay. Are you okay with this plan, by the way? <laughs> when it when it comes to well, drinking if it's, tabs. If I'm not okay with it, uh, the whole thing that me and my friends stand for, stopping Strahd from fucking us all over, kind of goes out the window. So I, I suppose I'll make an exception. <laughs> Mutual interest. Right. Absolute you quarantine. Well, I'm going to quickly go talk to some people, and I will be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Try not to have a nervous breakdown. <gasps> <laughs> I want to get those bones back. <laughs> and just, I'm fucking going to the church. Pow. Not a run, a power walk, a jaunty like. <laughs> I got places to be. I got places to be, baby! And yeah. I'm going! Uh, I've never seen him so passionate about anything. So you go there and you like cast exposition on, on Father Petrovici and then you return? Is that pretty much what you're doing? Cast exposition, exposition and just sort of be like, got the bones, bro. <laughs> and then, actually, I will ask. Do the bones have to stay in the church, or can they, like, just have to stay in the town? Well, in theory, they could be with anywhere within the town, but I'd like them to be in the church. This was 
kind of his final resting ground and well that. it's more can you make give something a bit more defensible for them because yeah it like, was quite like, easy for, like what? they're taken by a literal child as in make it so tom can't just walk in go to it pick them up and fucking leave you know mm. couple of locks in place what place do you have in mind Fuck if I know. Probably the tavern would be quite good. That's quite a defensible place. But to be honest with you, sort of anywhere. Make locks. <laughs> How about... Defend the bones. <laughs> what if I... Yep. Yeah, but what if I... We keep him here. And I make sure that the place that they're in is under lock and key more, you know, better. That's a good start. It's fantastic. I really would Just like make him it, you to know, be here. Oh no, I get that. I'm just saying... They can be here. Make it harder for them to be taken away. Yes, 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 yes. Because <laughs> they're super important, dude. <laughs> I, 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 he like, the latch is locked. I just, I didn't know that that little shit. Steal my key and steal the bones, all right? Nobody else knows about the bones, or, you know. But someone could find out about them. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I'm quite new to your religion, I'll be honest. Don't know the horns out. But I think this sort of secret artifact quite important. Oh. So maybe keep it locked. <laughs> it was it locked! That, it was locked! It's... Just a padlock! More than just a padlock and a door! <laughs> Come on, man! It's just I'm like, I'm just like grandma, again, like, so grandma had like, like, have been <laughs> here since the, the St. Andrew died, and this is the first time something like this has happened. What's the first memory? Uh, this one is just like, this guy's also like beginning to fucking lose his patience and his shit. He's like, they've been safe fucking, like, for so long. And now the, kid, the kid's like in his quarters and he just hears yelling in the. Yeah. <laughs> it's like listening to this argument. Have you had an idea how Feel long bad, these bones have been here? Just get a better lock, dude. <laughs> I'm just like, I will! We're gonna get the bones back. Amazing. I... We're gonna go get the bones back though, so you just stay here, don't die. In my head, they're both grabbing onto each other's. Yeah, we're both just both shaking. <laughs> and as you, as you, like he accompanies you to the door, and as you like, as he closes, each the, creasing one another's holy <laughs> vestments. As you close the chapel door, you just hear from behind the door, Milovich. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! I, I pause. Think maybe I should have said, "Don't be too harsh on the boy." <laughs> and they're like, "Put the phones back, bro." <laughs> See, when, <laughs> see, when um, Arania started grilling the kid about necromancy, I was like, oh, what a genius. I bet the kid's trying to, like, get the guy resurrected so that he can actually be a champion oh. for the town. Not, he's a fucking idiot that sold it for some bread. <laughs> like, like, what are you talking about? Man, he's not very smart, all right? He's the oh. child. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, not, I wasn't necessarily team, thinking so. that that was the kid... Thinking that, but more so that maybe the kid was told that by whoever wanted to buy them, you know. But right. apparently not. Apparently, he just so hasn't returned to tavern. <laughs> yeah. It's very like. <laughs> I have been. Are you okay? Um, Let me just you. short rest. How are you looking spell wise? Oh, am I looking spell wise? I have like no spells left. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that's what I thought. I have All like right. three first level spells, bro. You're welcome for doing I this. I have spells left. Um, Are we sure I am going to switch my infusions during this little hour shenanigan thing. And I'm going to give you that ring back, Lazarin. Oh, I instantly use it. Okay. Yeah, well, you can get a third level spell slot or lower back. I get third level spell slot back. Okay. Oh. And then, I've got to double check something real Let's quick. See. Oh my god, unless you want to waste another hour for me to change it again. Are we uh, just quick short resting as well? Can I get in on that short rest action? The end yeah, I guess that? so, yeah. Sure. Excellent news. This is fantastic. Cause then just, now... an, just Henrik spending an hour at the pub, you know? No biggie. And then uh, just to buy power to get a second level spell slot back. Okay. What's up, Ethan? I, I know that you're going to say no, but I'm going to ask anyway. Does this short rest reset my max HP change? <laughs> that just no. I'm just like, I'm not even gonna if you know you. the answer, why ask the question, you know? Because knowing it is metagame knowledge, so I'm asking just in case. 
What the fuck? No. What you want asking in character? Mr. DM, would this reset oh, my max? I don't page? remember asking. Of course you, you fucking dude. know meta knowledge. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It Touch doesn't. homebrew shit all the time. Okay. Short rest. Uh, no, no bueno. Okay, cool. I'm still perfectly healthy, but totally fucked at the same time. <laughs> Temporary, we still have temporary hit points. Yep. Like they don't go away on a short. It's only until yep. you long rest or they get used, yep. right? Cool. Right. Yes, With the 14 temporary hit points, I'm still. I still like... have temp HP. Me too. With the 14 temporary hit points, I'm now only uh, 25 below my max. Sorry, 20, 27 max below my max. What's your maximum health, by the way? Uh, down oh, yeah, from 95 to 54. You still have more health than I do, asshole. You still have more health You're than You're not a me frontline asshole, fighter, yeah. pussy. The yeah, amount he, he gets focused, he might as well be. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's his own fault. No, it's your fault. Anyway. Uh, um, DM, I would like to go get some bones. We're <laughs> 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 finally gonna the use the, okay. the door patches. So you're all gathering up and you're, you're headed towards the coffin maker shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I am going to uh, check with Cass if it's cool, but I am going to hitchhike and Cass just so we draw less attention, because even the subtle glow from me, probably we want to be as stealthy as possible when we're doing this, so. Yeah, we'll Get say that... Uh, <laughs> Wait, I can't! In your hour, Henrik will have, will have said that his bedroom uh, oh is like the um, middle someday. window on the west side of the building upstairs. That's his bed. So you know... Did he tell us where exactly the bones were in, in the his room? bedroom closet? Yeah, in the wardrobe closet. Just quick check for me because I can't. Once I've un like left someone's body, I can't possess them for twenty four hours. So I can't possess Brooks or Jax. I know for sure because I used nope. Jax to cross the bridge. I was in Brooks during the fight, but Bell was was I when we had the whole thing? We were like the voice in the head. That was when we met Aranya. That was before today, yeah. right? That was that like was the cool. last day. Yeah. Different day. Okay. Yeah. Last... Okay. So I can't. So yeah. I so then this, it holds true. I am inside Kessa's body right now. Friends. All right. Yeah, Kess really needs another voice. So you know what you know <laughs> what wall, what exterior wall is the bedroom? What are you guys doing? Very curious. Uh, can I can up there, climb but... up there pretty easily and quietly. Or I, I can could also fly up there. step up there. Oh, I, mean, I can't do. That. Is that quiet? I, can't I mean, I can fly up there very quietly. To be honest with you, only one of us needs to go up there, get the bones, come back down. Do I, I think I should because I'm the tankiest. I mean, I think I should because I'm the one who's got the fucking door, but you know. <laughs> okay. Tell, tell Jax. You could. Cass, tell Jax it should not be him because he's usually the least stealthy of any of us, and then he's most likely to be detected getting the bones just from Jack. like his floorboards. The floorboards are probably creak. He's 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 a he's a buff dude, you know. The floorboards are probably going to give him away or something. I also have a good distraction if this all goes wrong, so you know. <laughs> I can also get to myself. Uh, Dragon out. says that you're about as stealthy as uh, someone throwing cast iron pots. Okay. Well, that's not how I put it, but thank uh, you. Okay. Is that really quiet for anyone else? Just me. <laughs> no, no, it's it's quiet. pretty quiet for me, too. I love what? it. Oh, super, super low. I, 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 silent. I think I have the best chance of uh, taking a hit if they do. I think, oh, no, realistically, I'm, I'm, we just don't want to take a hit. We want it to be sneaky. Well, yes, of course. Right, and, and but we need that. to prepare for the worst. Okay, so who's sneaky and can take a hit? I mean, technically both. I'm sneaky and I could take one I hit. I can take a hit. I can take a hit and be. I'm pretty sneaky. I could be sneaky. I, I also have you know, the door. I could spy. I'm neither, so and then I could I'll just uh, my cloak. chill out back here. Oh, right, I'm probably the most likely to be able to deal with that. Right, no, 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 no. You are the last person we want going down because you're what? the only person. Because you're the only. Shut the fuck up and I'll tell you why. Because you are the only person that can fix it if someone is in deep shit. I'm saying in terms we of don't... Their, 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 their. You're not going in, and I point to Aranya, because you actually have some genuine chance of maybe improving this place somewhat. You, I point to Kess, are not going in because you're a fucking moron who's going to do something stupid. I'm, I'm also the sneakiest one here, though. I'm not going to do anything to change my armor to be more sneaky. In her head, you just hear your boyfriend's rude. <laughs> Not to mention that you have previously shown and learnt that being up close and personal is not the best thing for you. 
because I can handle myself going in and getting some bones. And I'm not going to instantly die. <laughs> I have a lot of defenses. I did change my armor just for this. And also, if anything goes wrong, I have to deal with that, okay? Why don't we uh, tell me? Why don't we just everybody vote? Vote for who goes in. No, because four people are going to vote for the fuck themselves. You don't know that yet. Yeah, it just... I repeat. Four people are just going to vote for the fucking cell. <laughs> <laughs> well, but there's people who aren't those four people, so right. therefore there'll well, still be. If, listen, if your cleric really wants to go in, I can at least quietly tail him and make sure that eyes are on him in case something goes wrong. I can call down okay. to you. Does putting your fucking door on the thing count as, like, like how does that work? How are you I'll going be, to? How are you going to honest. get? How are you going to get up there? Well, I fly up. Oh yeah, because it's fucking perpetual fucking dick hole darkness. Whoa, that's perpetual a dick different type of darkness. darkness. <laughs> dick holes are pretty dark. I mean, true. <laughs> okay, mechanically, I hate this. Uh, is the fucking putting the door up a fucking spell? No. Nope. Or is it? Okay. Why don't I just make you fucking invisible? And we'll do it that way. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just do that? I don't want to. Bro Bruce, you can either be helpful or you can just be an asshole. Which one are you gonna be? Who needs to be invisible? Me. A Lazarin, but he's being a dickhead. I can make you invisible. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna cast Greater Invisibility. That's the one that doesn't quite last that long. <laughs> but that actually does work quite well. I don't have another one! What the fuck? <laughs> um, I would have Technically, you could still one. just cast it. I mean, oh, it if it's sounds like it's gonna me, be pretty quick. But the second it's cast me, I'm so. fucking going. Because I know the yeah. spell. So we just see a door appear? No, yeah. so I slip the night, go up, let me just. So I have to quickly edit something oh. real quick. Hang on. You know that'll last uh, time, right? What's up? What's yes, up? sir. Okay, just make sure that we have that understood. What's up? Yep. I mean, my it flying lasts just a minute, so um. Yeah, just my flying, so I'm go go gadgeting the. Fuck. Yeah. So once you okay, pick yeah. up the the you know you peel off the patch with the door, mm -hmm. uh of the uh, read, of yeah. your robe, uh you then just like. <clears throat> Stick it to the surface. Oh. Um. Hmm. I think for the purposes oh, of this... Oh man, what's gonna be in this room? For the purpose of this, it has to be the window. Because the door you can only place in an opening, yeah, yeah, yeah. the window There's you can place on the well, surface. That's yeah. that's what I just realized, but yeah. it's fine, I'll place it on the window and so... Right. Yeah, and that works, and then you can open uh -huh. the window. But like, So yeah, you just see this extra window <laughs> appear, just... <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sound, it's just... <laughs> it's there. <laughs> it's so... I'll make it, because this can be barred on one side, I'll make it so it's barred on the outside. So I can mm -hmm. lock it from the outside. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna fucking sneak on in and just, yeah. you know, with my 300 foot fucking dark vision, just be so super sneaky going towards Make a stealth this check with advantage because you're invisible. <laughs> Card for advantage. Uh, that is a 19. Okay. Well, you look around. The room is uh, very, very small. Um, it's not very sageable. You see. Like it's a very modest bed chamber. Uh, it has like some well, pretty well made pieces of furniture. Um, uh, get the sense that he may have, like Henrik, may have made them all himself. Uh, mm -hmm. Given that he, you know, making coffins is a form of carpentry, a so he could probably make other things. He's, he's a woodworker. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you do see the wardrobe in like the corner of the room. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm getting to the wardrobe. All right. As you look into the wardrobe, it is mostly empty. Uh, but no, you know, normally it, I would have you roll for this, but knowing, you know, knowing that it's supposed to be in the wardrobe, you kind of look around, you find a secret compartment. Inside that compartment, you will see two uh, sacks, a large one containing the bones, and a smaller sack containing. You're not going to fucking believe this. The sword! 30 silver pieces. Oh, we need silver. That's yeah. Pog. And 12 Electrum pieces. 
All, no. Of, no. <laughs> all of the coins erection. bearing the profiled visage of Strahd. I look at the lecture and I'm like, <laughs> you leave it. I've only got a minute. I, it's it's that. It's like I, it's like I've only I've only got a minute. I'm taking, I just I take both bags. And I'm just going. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, so like, like one thing like, about this money is like this is money you reckon will only have value down here because of the fact that it's strong hey in the coins. I mean, it's Electrum, so it's no value anyways. Fucking yeah, true! We, can we could melt it down. Hold up. We could melt it down. We can <laughs> use the silver coins to make silver shavings to make holy oil. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, eventually. Uh, and you've... Uh, or even just, like, you, melt you it down. You do hear some, like, scratching and, and walking around on, like, behind the wall, yeah. you know, like... Mm -hmm. On the other side of the room, but nothing seems to have entered the room or is trying to enter the room. I, I mean, I'm fucking Audi there. To make sure there's no footprints, I am slightly like no like footstep sounds. I am like slightly like hovering above. Levitating, yeah, yeah. And I will, as I leave, I. Hmm. No, Being quite loud, like shutting this. I'm just gonna like try and shut that iron door as quietly as I can. It's still a fucking iron door with a mm -hmm. bar. And try and show that just fucking get down and be like, Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you just all get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out. Of right. I got the bones. Ben's got his bones. All right. Uh, so where are you headed? I'm fucking hustling. Oh, I'm going straight to the fucking tavern. Okay. Back to so Winchester. Back to the Winchester. Though, Actually, yeah. it's an inn. Fucking true, bestie. Oh my gosh, preach. Um, I'm still making a show on the dead joke. Okay, bro, that's all I, that really matters. I take here. it back. Uh, yeah, you get to the tavern and Henrik is just kind of sitting there. Um, he's under, right now like surrounded by like five, you know, normal looking people, but now knowing, what you, knowing what you know, you know, uh, including, including uh, the barkeep and his wife. And as you all enter, the barkeep immediately gets up and like locks the door behind you. You can see that all the windows have had these like defenses that they have have been activated. So like there's like these thick metal plates covering his window and ain't nobody getting in. Um, go well, I've not like, been to a lock-in in a while. I'll go up to him. I'm like, this is you silly old bastard. Come and practice here. What did you say, Koba? Sorry. Oops. I said, I go to Henrik, and I'm like, what, you silly old bastard? <laughs> right. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. we'll keep you alive for as long as we can. <laughs> and we'll promise not to feed you these vampires. <laughs> Just I think just... about it, you know. Just, I just, I, you know. I get it. I get it. But, you know. A lot of people. A lot of people at risk because of... Uh, I know. I'm aware of, like I said, boy. I was aware of my mistake the moment I realized... Uh, the man who approached me with his, you know, with with a promise of good business, wasn't what I thought it was. And at that point, you know, I'm very sure I that if it. Count Strad stand right before you and you were in my position, you'd find it very scary to say no to him, too. I really just I feel just... like the first red flag should have been someone promising a coffin maker good business. What is that supposed that to mean? That means a lot of death. You may right? have, have you seen where we live? Definitely. Why would you? People are dying all the thing? fucking time. We live in a shithole. This entire realm <laughs> is a shithole. I just what think you want this every day I wake up. Generally a bad I'm thing like, for everyone I'm else. It, I, does that not equate to you? People die. They get eaten. Look. By vampires, they die of disease. They get attacked by fucking wolves or werewolves or both. People die. They need to get buried. You know how many funerals so, this town alone no get, gets on a monthly so basis. Should your business be good enough? As I it think is. we're. I think we're establishing that he makes coffins, not like carriages or complex mechanics, for a reason. He's stupid. He's Don't read into it. Man's intelligence. I just, I guess, just, oh, goodness. They're right, by the way. You're a fucking moron. I realize that now, thank you. It's a bit late, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, shit happens. <sighs> Get a fucking pint of wine and quit your engine. Oh, you've got the bones. 
Is he I'll probably get band? killed the moment I step foot in my own home and, and shop. Well, luckily, no you're going to be here until we dealt with the that. vampires for you. And besides, you would have ended up dead either way, to be honest. As it... Oh, they absolutely would have killed you. They would have killed you if you if you had absolutely. them. Absolutely. You're dead. If you're dead. I mean, they might have kept him alive and just strung it out. Yeah, he might have but... slowly sucked every last drop of blood or they out might of him have until he was a little a withered husk. That's I don't. If I was a vampire, I wouldn't want to make him a vampire. I would not want him on my side either. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I fucked up. All right. Sorry for trying to, to have a little bit of hope just... of a better future in a shithole like this. I realize my mistake. Can we move on? Have you considered a career change, maybe? To I what, say, motherfucker? You... Oh, no, I make on, coffins! Just, just, I can make just, closets, just, maybe, but nobody here can fucking who... afford them because we're being starved by a fucking vampire lord in a castle! Who do you, you think's dumber, right? Who do you think's dumber? <laughs> this guy? Or the kid that sold bones to him for some bread? <laughs> Well, that kid's because stupid. That is wild. Okay, but that, that child's is brain isn't finished growing yet. I actually think all the intelligence. <laughs> I don't think this guy's is either. I do. Except for him. Let me stop. The guys, guys, let's just. Are you related by any chance? <laughs> oh my god. Look, it's cathartic. You done with me? Lazarin, okay. I. Well, you're not going. Apparently, don't go upstairs. I just don't want to be here. Right. Rule. Oh. It's not a dungeon select session if someone doesn't lose their shit now. <laughs> this time it's NPC because we drove him to it. <laughs> We're just bullying this NPC because it makes people feel he better about it. how he's like, We're like nosy fucked up and he's just like, I get it guys, I get it, I get it guys. Yeah, I fucked up. Like... <laughs> I just fucking get it. Let it go guys, I get it. <laughs> uh, when that guy has gone up there, I made a mistake. Like... I'm going to look at Jax and just go, I cannot fucking believe this day we're having Jax, by the way. I mean, what you make of this? And I'm going to flick him an electron piece <laughs> that has Strahd's face on it. Strahd's face on it. Oh, Quite the collector's oh. item, wouldn't you say? That's how you know we're in a cursed place. Do we have more? <laughs> <laughs> Do we start frothing at the mouth? I just I'm going to bag. Um... There's, there's 12 Do we all have wine? Here. I don't know, I think so. still jingle the bag. Yeah, at this point, them up with uh, all the silver. Yeah, everybody will have gotten some wine and um, the barkeep's kind of. Look at Henrik before he retreats. <clears throat> and I'm going to pick up my wine and I'm going to like grab his wrist so he picks up his wine. I'm going to say, well, on the plus side, at least my dog's not dead. And I'll <laughs> <laughs> smack the tankards together and fucking drink a bunch of wine. Oh my god. <laughs> I won't give you a platinum. I mean, sure. I'm confused. Right, I'll what, is by them this? Take the bag. what is happening? And I'll literally just be like, Jack's got gonna... Jack's gonna be on you. Jack's gonna be on you. Just gonna give it to you for free. <laughs> no. But I hear it's in such high demand these days. What is it? So it's I have plans for this. 30 story. silver no and 12 electrum, but all these coins are bearing the face of uh, Strahd. Wrong. That's fine. Don't worry about it, sussy man. I got plans. Don't worry about it. Mm. Well, I suppose we better rest up, guys, because we've got a long night ahead of us. Because vampires, um, figure it out. Watch, watch, watch. So, um, watches. Dogging all night. Fun. Well, probably should have more than just one person up, but, you know. Do you only need to sleep long. for, like, four hours, too, bro? Yeah. I mean, no, bro. Fucking whatever your name is. <laughs> your name yes. <laughs> the point is, yes. <laughs> right. And I can take the first four hours and then you can take the second four hours or vice versa. Sure. I'm as still kinda, guess as, as you're kind of like this... discussing all of this, there's a knock oh. on the door. Oh no. And, uh, you know, the barkeep kind of like opens a shutter and looks and. All right. And opens the door. Oh no. And this, this. Pretty well dressed lady uh, oh, it's like enters, Fiona. enters uh, the uh, tavern. Um, and uh, Lady Fiona. Lady, Fiona. Lady walks out. What do, what, do, what are you doing here? And, and she just kind of sits herself down. Just walking by and wondering why your place is on lockdown. And. and <laughs> He just kind of he kind of casts exposition 
on 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 her. <laughs> I see. All right. So these people. What's uh? What's your story? You're the twentieth group of adventurers that think they can take on Strand, or are you guys actually different? I will. I'll be honest we with you. We are the right ones. I'll be honest with you. We don't like. Killing Strand isn't our main goal here. It just happens to be on the way. So, yeah. it's kind of, like, maybe if we can avoid it, we kind of will, obviously, because, like, you know, Strand's a little out of our wheelhouse. But if we have to kill him, we have to kill him. So we'll be as best prepared as we can. Just, Interesting. I don't want anyone to have expectations that we're going to be the ones that are definitely going to do it. And, like, you know, that we are definitely killing Strad. It's like... What if we don't? If we get like an escape plan to get out of here without having to face Strahd at all, I can tell you now we're outy, right? We ain't hanging around. All right. You may be dying to Strahd, okay? okay. You're we'll be as prepared waffling. as you can be. You're waffling now. I'm down. <laughs> I will. Day. I will. Uh, I, I'll go ahead and leave Cass's body, I guess, so it didn't really matter. But I'll be like, look, we're, we're, t we're here to take a thing from Strahd that Strahd wants, and so I'll probably make him mad, so we'll probably have to kill him anyway. That's, that's the gist. All right. I'll send my people to go deal with those f f half vampires in your coffin maker's shop. Mm. She just kind of calls upstairs. Henrik! Get <laughs> down here. And Henrik just kind of, as he comes down the stairs. Boy. You're coming with me. Oh. And she just kind of like Wait. grabs him by the scruff of the neck and Wait. begins to guide him towards I... the door. I want to check again. My 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 senses are kind of dimmed, but maybe more just like from one undead being to another. Do I get? I want to inside check her. Like, is she actually on our side, or is she maybe secretly work also working for him? And this is her trying to. I mean, you were like, told by the, the guards that Lady Walker was yeah, like one of the could be very wrong, few people out. Wrong. Well. We no. have trust issues. Just it let us figure it, it out. Could All right, roll, really inside, roll inside check. Con. Roll inside check. It could be a real big long con. Yeah, the, you don't know. the thousand year old plan. <laughs> uh, nope, never mind. That's a I mean, eight. Goodness. <laughs> I mean, all you know about her is what you were told by the guards. Okay. Uh, I just try and really quickly get him like, now seems legit. Vibe seems, vibe seems and, good. Uh, <laughs> she like, begins to like, like drags him out of scruff of the neck and drags him out and he just, all right, all right, all right. Uh, they leave and Barkeep shuts the door again, locks it up. I do not want to be him right now. No. Nope. Don't want to be him in. Yeah, to be honest. But... True. Mm. Right, it's been a long day. Um, we'll figure out what to do with these bones in the morning. Uh, let's all get some sleep. We don't. Where's me the... and my wife, we don't really we sleep. So we can... Me neither. Oh. What's the most defensible place for these bones? Want to play cards? Not defensible here, but you know, I feel like it's like, a bit weird. Kind of want them to go back to the church, probably, but. No, but here. I mean, like, like right now for here. tonight. Oh, right now. Within That's here, right now, tonight. Oh, the. Uh, Where can we put these bones? Uh, perhaps a room that has about 100 ravens in them, some of which are my people, just in there, you know, get to keep in guard. The room that your friend accidentally that found. Sounds like a good idea. And I'm going to move the bones to there. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> and uh, we'll say that uh, because I know Briar has to go uh, very, 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 very soon. So, uh, and it's, you know, it's been about four hours anyway, so. Oh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll wrap it up there. You guys all have... long rest. Beanie, you finally That's... reset your max HP, buddy. You did it. Like, fuck for that. Oh, we actually go on a long rest now? Oh, yeah, you're going on a long rest now. Oh, yeah. Do we, uh... Do we... Oh, I don't have time to try and persuade has to hook up with Brooks tonight if we just cut to tomorrow. God damn. <laughs> yeah. There's not a, not a chance for that tomorrow. tomorrow. Versus. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pick Thank this up uh, <laughs> next week. And uh, we'll continue. Yeah. You know, there's a couple of things on the agenda. You know, to, to get bones. the Sunblade, you still have to do the thing for the guy. You have to return the bones. It's a festival in three days. A lot of things happening in uh, Valaki mm -hmm. over the next uh, few days. So busy, uh, busy place. Uh, the, the the final bastion of light in this dark, dark, dark realm. But, um, yeah, hope you guys all have fun. It's good to be back, and uh, we'll be here uh, next week.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I, I won't you. be here next week for sure, for sure. But F. Okay. You y'all can still, still keep playing. Yeah, have guys. a good night, everybody, and uh, we'll catch Bye. you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.